Gotta stall for two more minutes. Two more minutes, guys. Gotta wait for people to come in, you know? Yeah, no narcs, no narcs. Nobody leak what the announcement is. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. I also forgot to put socks on. But you guys can't see. <laughs> I also have to get a mask on because we're working with powders today. Okay, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for the big announcement? Um, if y'all have been watching the main channel streams, um, twitch.tv slash peacein underscore 17. You don't know what the announcement is? <laughs> Peace I to gas doesn't work in this channel. Okay, so if I assume most everybody here knows the channel already, but um, I had like my DSLR for like the art camera and then I had a cheapy camera for face cam but I tweeted about it the other day so I was thinking about it and I realized I'm not as confident as I thought it was I am plot twist very immature uh or not immature LMAO <laughs> insecure oh that oh LMAO <laughs> you know we gotta bait a little bit we gotta we gotta farm some clicks guys um, are you guys ready for the big reveal? Are you guys ready? Type one if you're ready, type one. Uh, so the past few days... Dude, what day did I even start working on this shit? Uh, I've been working on a PNG tuber model. What day did I... No, legitimately, what day did I start working on this? Because, like, I, I got it done in the total, like, three hours. Because I bought a preset, like, base images off of Etsy and I just traced them. You're allowed to do that if they allow it. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> he sighed to gasp, wowee, who is this? Uh, I wave, but you guys can't see me. Love <laughs> <laughs> Um, so if you guys want more information on what I use, exclamation model in chat, I literally just googled PNG tuber software and the first thing that came up was something called Vito Tube Mini. It works. It, it was really simplistic. It's made in Unity, but you know, I can work with simple. I'll take it. You know, because Meg Esports is still broke. We don't got much money to invest. So yeah. Uh, you guys want to see the new art screen setup? So people, hey, it's actually nice because. Uh, the mouth actually moves when I talk. That's pretty sick and epic. But look, 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 look. When I, I'm just clicking my mouse. And it's, it still picks up the sound. Look, 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 look. <laughs> that is because my mouse is right next to the mic. <laughs> so, uh, we gotta work out the kinks. I mean, like, because the way the soft, I, could, I wish I could screen cap it, but you guys can't see it right now. Because um, I made it transparent. Uh, if you, anybody wants to know how I made it, so the little anime character, it was a preset off of Etsy and the creator, I have to actually put the creator's name in that command, I'll do that tomorrow. Um, but they're like, oh you can trace it, you can use it for emotes, you just can't resell it. I'm like, pog you. And then the background, all the images, all the photos are royalty free, so we're not going to get claimed. And I just added them all together, took a look at it. This is, guys, this is actually my new million dollar studio setup. 
I've been hiding it for forever. I'm actually a millionaire. You guys were teasing me for having two laptops. It is true. I am a mega millionaire. VTuber era? Yes, I, yes it is. Yes, it is. Well, welcome in, Crystal. Thank you guys for chatting. Thank you for coming in and saying hi. Um, there's one more thing I want to say. Oh, um, I know most of y'all are following the main channel, but if we have any actual, like, just art frogs, I will be moving either this weekend or Thanksgiving weekend. So, I'm gonna formally tell chat tomorrow for the Mario Kart stream on the main channel, but, um... Shut up, Crystal! You're literally just quoting my announcement video I put on Twitter. You're literally quoting the video. I was trolling. I was trolling. Uh, talking about Twitter, it'd be great if everybody could go follow my social media. Um, cause if y'all want me to keep making art, we need engagement. You know, we gotta farm some retweets, we need some likes, guys. I need a million by tomorrow, baby. Uh, fuck. Oh yeah, so, we're either moving this weekend or Thanksgiving weekend. So, it, it, it's kind of up in the air right now. So, we might be on a hiatus starting next week until December. I mean, I would only be gone for like a week, so I wouldn't... It would just be like, you know, like a Thanksgiving, but a winter break, but in November, you know? So don't freak out. I'll still be posting. I'll still paint and shit. It's just like, the place we're moving to, they're still doing construction. So, I don't want to... Um, you know, have like da -da 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 in the background of every street. <laughs> Where's the chair? I am in in this headcanon PNG universe. I'm sitting on a stool. Okay, I'm sitting on a stool. I was gonna edit in a chair, but I, it, it kind of made the background too cluttered. I am a. Okay, have we stalled enough? Do you want to look at the painting? Uh. The last time we were live on this channel was 10 days ago. Oopsie! <laughs> huh. Okay, what do you guys think? Uh, because the camera's the same size. Oh, wow. I'm a real person. Holy. Uh, like, it's still, like, visible, right? Like, I was looking at, like, the ratio, and I think it's a fine size, like, compared to this. I mean, I don't think many people are looking at the face cam anyway, right? Alright, uh, anyway. Oh, I was gonna say, since I'm moving, I'm gonna farm like crazy. You know, we need donations, we need subs, guys. Uh, <laughs> I did the math, and I'm gonna be broke for like three weeks. And that's fine. I just can't do anything. <laughs> um, okay, so last week, we started this painting. We did the base colors, you know, gauge. And then we did the white base. As you can see, I did add the hollow to the white because... If you're following my art Twitter and IG, you would have seen I made this offline. Isn't this crazy? Dude, the hollow looks insane on camera. Holy. Okay. The holy is, good, is definitely the catchphrase of November. I can't stop saying it. I think it's because Tone says it a lot. Anyway, look at the colors on this one. Crazy. So I did this painting fully offline. If you want to see progress pics, it is in my Instagram stories. It's This one's labeled painting number six, okay? Um, this one, same size, you know, 12 by 16, nine and a half freaking hours. It took a long ass time. Um, but I really like it. It's really pretty. So anyway, si similar process I for this one. I put the actual colors down first and then I waited a day. And then I put the holographic um, powder on, and then I had to let it dry, and then I started the black details on top. So when I was putting the hollow on this piece, I had like a teensy bit left over. So I had just enough to cover the white sections of this piece, because you can't really store the varnish. I mean, you can, but I didn't want it to get goopy, so I just wanted to use it right away. Um, so today, um, we already have basically five hours on the timer from last week's, or... A week and a half ago stream so today the plan is simple we're gonna add the glitter varnish to all the other colors and then we're gonna fill in the whole background with black and then it's gonna be done so put your predictions in the chat how long do you think this is gonna take me I think three hours I think I can get this painting done in within eight 
with an 8. Yeah, I was thinking about doing something like that, Luigi, like kind of transposing my image that I'm painting onto the le that little sketchbook, but I don't know if adding that much detail is worth. I'll think about it. Oh, that is a good idea, though. Because I know some PNG tuber, PNG tuber models, they have like the hand move, and that's kind of cute. Four hours? I think... I think four hours is reasonable, but my goal is three. My goal is to get this one done in eight, because, like, the design is obviously simple. But... It's still gonna take me... Because I'm not using tape. Tape is for scrubs, okay? Tape is for losers who have not very steady hands. I have... You can't see... It. I have the steadiest hands in the world. My PE teacher told me I should be a surgeon and I said no that's too much stress or no I'm not my PE teacher my counselor in school they were like you should be a surgeon you're smart enough I'm like nah okay uh I'm really glad that the software works because I <laughs> I forgot to do a test stream because the way that I capture the um the model is I have to screen cap it meaning um what you call it uh, it's a whole nother tab, so I didn't know how much it would affect my processor, but everything looks good. I uh, you. Yeah. It'd be funnier if the tuber was still to be put together. Yes, it, I thought about doing that too, but I, I think I okay. Uh, okay, let's talk and work. Talk and work. Okay, I have a mask on because I'm working with fine mica powders. You don't want to breathe that shit in. So if you do this at home, please make sure you wear a mask. You don't necessarily need a a respirator, but even just wearing a simple surgical is enough. Hi, Cox. Welcome in. Who the heck is the person on screen? I don't know. Who is this? There. Yeah, it's almost like they're an imposter. Okay. Anyway, I'm talking work, talking work. I gotta start the timer. Start the. Okay. Goal is three hours, but reasonable four hours. We're gonna finish this, okay? So, what I kind of learned when working with the mica powders is it's best if you put less powder when compared to varnish. Also, the lighting is kind of dark today because I forgot to move my ring light. Okay, so we're going in as usual with the regular gloss varnish. Does anyone- is the new Pokemon game out already? I can't remember. Bob Ross time? Exactly. Cause I kinda wanna play it, but it's legitimately not in the budget. Don't talk about it. Oh, do you not want spoilers? Chatters. Um, oh, Friday? Okay. Yeah, cause that's not in the budget. How much- okay, let me actually look up how much the game is. Because if we- I just pointed down, like I had a camera on. If we hit our donation goal, instead of buying lunch, I'll buy the game. So it's November 18th, so Friday. You're avoiding it at all costs? Me too, because like... It doesn't say how much it fucking costs. $60. Oof. Oof. If we hit our donation goal, then I'll play Pokemon Scarlet. Isn't it 60? Yeah, it's 60. I heckin' love it. I'm gonna need more varnish in this. I heckin' love Nintendo and how they overcharge their games. Okay, it's best to overpour what you need. <laughs> Try 70 for Xbox, Sag. Okay, so this mix right here, on top of the white, this is um, fuchsia gold and then blue to green. So it kind of looks like gold on camera, right? But since this varnish was on top of white, all the colors will show. But since we're working with a range of colors, like for example, if I put blue varnish, like blue bitter, blue powder on top of blue, it wouldn't really show. Because when I, when I was doing testing and swatches, usually the opposite color will show up better. Um, so I should ideally put like an orange or gold mica powder on top of the blue. That way it's the opposite color, right? Let's move this so I don't have a shadow. <coughs> okay. So, I genuinely don't 
I don't want to mix. Oh wait, no, I could. Hold. Pause. Because these are cooler colors, right? And those are warmer. So I should put like blue powders on top here and probably like golds on top of these on the bottom. But I kind of want it to be consistent. Let's see which ones I have. I have fuchsia to gold, so pink to yellow, green to blue. I might just do gold. Um, purple to pink. But some of these I haven't used it, I don't think. Um, gold to green. Green to violet. And then blue to purple. It's kind of hard to see. But see how, like, the shine is a slightly different hue? Yeah, Chatter, spam as much as you want. Emote spam is a courage. I'm just trying to, like... I don't know if I should mix two different kinds. Because, like, the green to violet looks yellowy, almost. Because I, I think it would look more consistent if I used the same color varnish on top of all the colors. Because, you know, I said, I, oh, I can maybe do, like, cooler colors for the top three and the warmer. I think that'd be too much. I mean, it would be a subtle difference, but I, I would see it. I think this gold to green is a really nice in-between. Because see right here, how the color shift is kind of more blue. And then right here, it's more yellowy. I think, instead of trying to mix, this right here is probably perfect. You see how in different angles, it goes from like cooler to warmer? So, I think, instead of trying to combine these, because if I add too many colors, I think it would be like this one where the color shift more looks more like lavendery or purple. I think using this one is solid. Am I gonna take my Wi-Fi? No. There's already an internet connection set up. Uh, I just, I still need to <coughs> test it out. Okay, guys, we, I just spent four minutes trying to decide what color powder. You know, this is the glory of working with physical art. You, you genuinely have to take every single artistic decision concerning supplies very seriously. Cause, oh, that's good. <laughs> I just realized that's going to harden. Oopsie. Like, you have to think about it carefully. Because once you put it on, you can't really take it off. Once again, gentle reminder, I am wearing a mask, mask on. Because I'm working with fine powders. If you want to do this at home, please make sure you have a simple facial covering on. I didn't move my water container. Holy! Your tuber isn't wearing one? That's why I'm saying I'm wearing a mask. That way none of y'all can cancel me. Okay, I've noticed I'm using like the southern accent unironically. It's just because I think it's funny, okay? Guys, I'm from western Washington. I ain't one of those southern folks. I'm going in with less powder than usual. I still think I put too much. <laughs> Oops. I put way too much. Low mouth. Because with these um, powder mixtures, since the varnish does dry kind of um, matte, it's not necessarily fully transparent. Okay, let's get painting. I'm gonna try to go as thin as I can. And you know what I explained last time? So you have to allow ample time for your first few layers of paint to dry before you're putting on varnish. I guess I only need to do one day. Because that painting I showed at the start of stream, it was dry after only one day and it didn't smear the varnish paint at all. So see, look, my brush is completely clean because we allowed. 10 days for the paint to fully dry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Art Fogs. Um, uh, last week was just fucking stressful, my guy. 
you see like a little bit of paint you can't really see it on cam but there's like the teensiest tiniest bit of red on my brush it's because I'm brushing too hard I need to press softer oh, this is so fun and you can already see like well another thing I have to be careful of is I have to try and make sure that like all my coverage is as even as I can get it because when the varnish dries you can see the brush strokes you put on top so you have to try and make sure you're working with thin even coats man just so you guys can see the color shift see it's crazy Wow, well, look at that whoa I wish I could have like an exhibition or something just so people can see it in person because like like taking the pictures and stuff like I could get better lighting and stuff but it's nothing compared to seeing it in person yeah Mac are you gonna win this month's tournament oh actually uh, the marker tournament might be delayed limo <laughs> I just realized because the last Sunday would be Thanksgiving weekend awkward you better win this month, Max. You're gonna be really mad if you don't. Yeah, since we're moving Thanksgiving week, I don't think we'll have time to do holiday streams. But to make up for it, I'll do a boatload of Christmas ones. Because the ideas I have for Christmas. Obviously, we're gonna do the naughty or nice list. And I think I want to try and make holiday themed cake pops and cookies because I want to try and make cookies for my roommate's workplaces. I think that'd be fun because I could make cake pops as well. Um, what else can we do? I wanted to do like, ooh, you know how like the da da da, <clears throat> the thing is like Santa's elves make toys. I kind of wanted to do like a toy making stream. But I'd have to figure out how to do that. I mean, I could do Legos, but I fucking hate Legos. I said it. Guys, I said it. I don't like Legos. Cancel me. Or maybe like painting toys. Something like that I think would be interesting. Legos are kind of yucky to work with, yeah, and like, my mom never bought them for us when we were younger. Because the kits were way too expensive, and then... Way too many pieces, because like, I remember we had like a block set, like, you know, like, the the really big plasticky Legos they had for like, toddlers? We had one of those. Um, but my mom hated it, because we would, <laughs> we would never put it away fully, so there would just be blocks all over. So that's why she never got us Legos. If I wooden toys and paint them. See, I was thinking that too. I think that'd be kind of cool. Because you know how they have like the wooden kits at like Michael's and stuff? I think that'd be cool. But see, the problem is if my. Because like the way that budgeting is going to work when we move is uh, if my disability gets approved in time, I can get up to 400. Meaning I might not get the full 400. So, uh. I'm concentrating. So, the majority of the money I get would go to our grocery money, but then I could maybe keep like 50 to 100 for myself. So then, um, that money would just go towards stream, and then whatever money I make from stream would go towards that. Um, okay. Looks like our varnish is down. I think this color combo is perfect. Wowie. Okay, I poured way too much varnish. I have a lot left over. Um, let's see. I don't. I really don't want to waste this, so I bought some mini canvases. So I'm just gonna put this on a mini canvas. That way, if I do another like black and white, because I, I bought a, a set of these are um nine by twelves. I I, I don't want to work on the 9x12 because I think this is kind of small 
But I do have a series in mind that I want to try smaller. Because, um, I'm opening it with scissors. Be careful. Oh. I want to do more, like, pattern-y type stuff. So, I was... Because I, I love... Wait, I might have a card that can kind of explain what I want to do. Let me grab that in a second. do a series of geometric patterns that are like this one or this one but then I do it smaller because I think it'd be a waste if I use like the bigger canvases for that so I was like concepting out patterns last night for that because then I could like actually use tape one of the scissors no don't do that I, I feel like that's a cliche thing, but does, has anybody ever done that? I feel like you only tell that to like little kindergartners. They're like, oh little Tommy, don't run with the scissors, even though they're literally safety scissors, so it's not like they could actually kill you. I, I feel like you'd have to really try. Okay, we're gonna put this aside, and then, then by the time we're done getting a base down for this one, that it'll be dry, so it actually works out nicely. So, like I said, I'm just going to try and use the leftover varnish just to fully cover this blank that I can use another time. What was wrong with your mag, Matt? What'd you fuck up? Hi, Lemon. People, hey. Sorry, there's like a little bit of fabric on the brush. Announcement? Hi, Cool Bobo, welcome in. Um, exclamation model in chat. I mean, Cool Bobo, you know what it is already. <laughs> you know what it is. I'm, I'm farming, I'm farming. Welcome in, guys. People, hey. Oh, Lemon, you're so silly. It didn't work. You typed it in wrong. Oh, this looks so pretty, just like, on its own. Yeah, Mac, I was gonna say that, because, like, my mic, I have it at input level 70, and then I just did the sensitivity. Like, it still picks up some background noise, but you know, it's fine. It's still kind of tinny, but it's not as bad as it would be. It wasn't a setting issue? Oh. Oh, oh is that like one of the manual knobs or some shit? I mean, I have a Blue Yeti, which is like the cheapest of the cheap, so I don't got no fancy shit. Thank you, Cokes, for actually typing it in right. <laughs> Cokes knows how to listen, guys. It's so annoying when there's, like, the little fibers. Why is there an audio button next to Mac's name? Oh, so, um, if you go to your chat identity, those, um, no audio and then no visual buttons are for people who are hearing impaired or visually impaired. It's a <laughs> funny story. Twitch only announced that change on, um, on Twitter. So... People were using those, um, no listening or no hearing buttons, like, ironically, or as a means to be like, Oh, I'm not actually watching the stream, haha. When they were actually meant to make things more accessible for the handicapped. <laughs> uh, um, so it was very sad how it transpired. And, yeah. But anyway, the... People can manually enable those buttons for... It's kind of like another indicator. Like, I know Mac is hearing and seeing. Hear, is able to hear and see. But sometimes people enable those buttons to be like, Oh, I'm kind of technically, like, either lurking or I'm just watching today. It's kind of like that. But like I said, a lot of people used it with malintent. Because it wasn't fully communicated, communicated what, oh, fuck, what the actual button's for. I mean... 
kind of shows how anal a society is, right? Dude. Okay, so this is like a perfect base coat. Wait. So I'm, I'm checking to see if I miss this spot. Dude, literally perfect. So this is prepped for another piece for another day. Hog you. Can I? I have. I've decided I'm gonna clean my trays before I change colors. So guys, I'm gonna clean my tray. I'll be right back, okay? I mean, I'm still here. I'm still here. I have to. I have to clear off the tray first. Uh, you know, the reason why, I figured out why there's always black specks in my brushes is because the bottom of my water bowl has, like, a layer of dried up paint. So anytime I run my brush through along the bottom, it peels off. So it's technically my fault. I have to get another, I have to get another bin. See, like, there's little black fibers. Oh, you literally can't can't see it. There's little black fibers in the brush. And it's just from the dried up paint in the bin. Dude, Kirby music goes crazy. <laughs> the water bowls of Haywalker, I agree. Why does the timer say? Oh, excuse me. Five hours? It's because we started this painting last week. But we had to pause because in order for us to put the varnish on, we had to wait for at least a day for the acrylic paint to dry. So... This is technically part two of this painting. Um, it's weird, or does this look like delicious? <laughs> like, this glitter? <laughs> it looks like lip balm, that's what it is. Like, you know, like glitter lip balm? That's what it looks like. I, <laughs> Twitch staff, if you're watching, I would never advocate for people to eat things that may cause harm. I'm just saying it looks very delectable, you know. Okay, I'm gonna clean, or my tree is clean. I have to go dump the water, so I'll be right back, okay? I don't think you should eat lip balm. I mean, so... Did I eat lip balm? I, I don't know if I did. Should I self-report type one? <laughs> okay, guys, should I self-report type one? I'll be right back. Can you give this up when someone isn't live? Um, I don't know. Hi, Titans. Oh, uh, you can uh, you can gift normally. Like you just go to their channel, and that yeah. And if you want to give to a specific chatter, then that person has to be in chat too. I think. Cause like if I wanted to, I could give five subs in Cutely's offline chat if I really wanted to. Oh, should I self report? Um. I, I think I know what Max is thinking. Anyway. Hi, Titans. Welcome in. Okay, this is dry. We can start doing black now. I want to give someone who? Um, fuck. Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, so you know the little bait, the little bell cheeses with the red wax? <laughs> My mom wouldn't buy them for me because instead of, like, peeling the wax off, I would just bite it whole, wax and all. <laughs> that was me, baby. Okay, let's start painting. That was crazy. Okay, I have learned which is my favorite brush. That was a bad idea. Okay. I found my favorite brush. This one. This one's my favorite. Because, like, you know those videos 
where you see the people do like one single stroke and it's they do like a 12 inch stroke and it's perfect they use a longer like bristle brush that way there's more paint on it that we can do it in one stroke so this is my new favorite um let's see um i'll probably need the finer one too because i'm gonna do the border around everything and then fill in and then a two coat I would never think to eat the wax. Well, I was kind of... Okay. Is that not common? Is... Is it not common to, like, nibble on the wax? Okay, I feel like some kids would nibble on it. You know, just... It'd be like gum. It... It, it generally can't just be me, right? A anybody else, like, nibble on the wax sometimes? I mean, we were poor. Sometimes that was our lunch. Just the wax. No? Only glue? Okay, I feel like glue is worse. I would eat wax. Eat okay. I have never eaten my earwax. But one kid in school did. And, like, he would be sitting at his desk, picking at his ear, and fucking eating his earwax. There was only one time in which... I accidentally ate my earwax. Okay, keyword, accidentally. Because, um, you know, I bite my nails. I've been doing that for a... I can take the mask off now because I'm not working with the powder. Uh, like I said... Holy, I'm talking fucking loud. Anyway. Um. Mask off. We're no longer working with powder, so they're no longer active. They're all tried. Anyway. Um, uh, anyway, to solve the board again. Like, I buy my nails all the time. I paint my nails now. That way I don't bite them as much. But, um... Like, I, I was picking out my ear. Okay, usually I wash my hands, but I forgot. And then I bit my nails. I was like, ooh, that's a weird taste. And it was earwax. And never did it again. Okay, enough self-reporting. You guys need to self-report now. It's your turn. It's, it's your story time time. Story time time. Okay, now we're going to get the finer details. I'm going to use the finer brush. Now... I have to focus. So, um, you know, this would be a great time for you guys to talk amongst yourselves or maybe spam. Because I, I have to focus now, okay? I know a kid who put yogurt in a squeeze glue bottle. <laughs> Dude, that's a really good prank. That's honestly really good. I can't figure out how to do it, Sag. Sag Lemon. Yeah, like you said, you can only give to a specific chatter if they type in chat and then you click on their name. I'm trying to oil your other channel. Meg Esports? Huh? Nah, I, I know what you're doing, Meg. It's very kind. Okay. I'm focusing now. I mean, if you can't oil the other channel, maybe you can oil this channel. Keep all cute. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna need to rent a moving truck because my dad has the SUV and then one of our roommates uncles has a pickup truck So we just we just need to like pay them for gas money. So that's pretty sick. Okay. This is really hard Sorry, my face is like whoa <gasps> face reveal <laughs> <laughs> Guys guys guys, I'm gonna farm clickbait for so long I mean, I just realized my profile pic for this channel is a picture of me. Wait, I forgot to update IG. Fuck. Hold. Hold, we gotta update the IG frogs. Um, while you guys are waiting, you guys should go follow. It's peacein underscore art underscore on IG. Any Instagrammers in chat? I don't like Instagram. Not to hate, but it's not my favorite. I already spilled black on here. How? You don't have IG, Sag? I mean, like, I don't really use it. I only use it because I kind of have to. Wowie. Wow. I have to mute the video because I forgot I was recording. 
What's the day? The 14th. Oh, I'm sorry that I started late today. It's because I had a doctor's appointment in the morning. Cough, cough therapy. And then I exercised for like an hour to calm down. And then I had a fuck ton of dishes to do. So I would have started at 11, but I started at, I guess, 1. Lemon, you're so close. Honey, you're so close. <laughs> What am I doing wrong? It's lowercase m and then hyperspin in all caps. So you're you're super close, honey. I mean like not many of my IRL friends post on social media, so it's not like it's making me insecure or anything. And also like I don't have many friends, so dude, if one of my gets friends gets married, I would love to go to their wedding. Okay, this is generally going to be difficult. Because my line art has to be perfect. Or the alignment's going to be screwed. Because the issue when you're working with a brush like this, even the slightest change in pressure can drastically change your strokes. See, look here. I'm barely pressing, but then a lot of pressure. Oh, you can't see because chastity. But even just applying like half a bit more strength can change the shape of your stroke. It's really scary. I have nothing distracted you. No, I'm good. I'm solid. But when I... <laughs> I just have to ignore you guys, and then I can focus. Like, okay. The painting I just finished offline, legitimately, if I did that on stream, it would take me 12 fucking hours. Because when you stream, you have to be entertaining. You have to be engaging. You can't just do nothing. You can't just not talk, right? I mean, I know these art streams, I am usually more chatty for the first hour, but then I kind of fizzle out after that point. Because, you know, you kind of got to warm up when you do art. Because um, usually around hour two is when I'll start focusing. Not that I'm not focusing right now, but like my hands are warmed up and stuff. Um, Yeah, like I was saying, if I, I think I'm going to try and paint more offline, so if you want to see those paintings, finals will be posted on Twitter and IG, and then progress pics will be up on my IG stories. Because, um, kind of sad, but guys, if my disability doesn't get approved, I'm going to have to work. Like, it's not any more avoidable. And it's like, if I work, then I can't stream, right? And that's a big sad. So hopefully it gets approved. But, um, maybe. Even if my disability does get approved, I definitely want to try and volunteer more. Because I was thinking, how cute would it be if I got a job at a library? Like, imagine me being your local librarian. Wouldn't that be cute? And I could read books to kids. I could do voices all the time. Wouldn't that be fun? So, I was thinking, even if I do get approved, I want to try and, like, volunteer at my local libraries. Because in order to get the library job, because it's a government job, you technically need an associate's. And if I'm projected to graduate with my bachelor's in July, then I'll be set. Because maybe if I volunteer, I'll have, like, an in when I graduate. What voices can you do? Um, watch my Eastward streams and VODs, easy clap. I do a lot of voices for that. 
And I've always enjoyed reading to kids, because, um, in elementary, when you were in sixth grade, uh, once a week we had to go read books to, like, the kindergartners, and that was really fun. Like, we would sit in the hallway, and the kindergartners would pick a book for the sixth grader to read to them, and that was really fun. So that's what I'm going to look into. Because, like, even if I volunteer on just the weekends, like, I would obviously have to, like, um, what you call it? I'd have to navigate, like, stream schedule along with my daily schedule when I'm doing more housework. And then also, like, my homework, too. But if I can handle it, I definitely want to try and volunteer at least. Because, like, with volunteering, you can't really get fired, you know? <laughs> can't really get fired. Is stream time going to change? Probably not. Um, the only change I could see happening is that I would start earlier. Because, like, if I have to make dinner every night, then I'd have to start dinner at, like, 4 p.m. Maybe 3, so... It all depends. But I'll make sure to keep you guys updated on it. Because, like, just in general, the 11 time slot is, like, the worst time to go live. Because it's in the middle of the day. It's, like, the worst time to go live. Like, if I cared more about, like, numbers or money and, like, viewership, then I would go live at, like, 4 p.m. Because that's when more people are home, more people are free. That's usually, like, people's leisure time in the evening. But I know in our current house, that's when everybody's home. But, I don't know, it's just, like, a lot to think about. I'm going to try and stick with the 11 time slot. Because I kind of like it, you know, it gives me time in the morning to do stuff. And then... I don't know. I see. Dude, I missed Lemon and Mac RPing in the chat. I'm glad to see it. Any RP chatters? Um, guys, we are an hour in the stream, so we don't have to run ads, but this is just a reminder. If you're watching the stream and you aren't following, what are you doing? It's hashtag free to follow. If you follow, then you can type in chat and hang out with everybody, and me, and say hi to me. And your name will show up on screen, people pause. Wow. So if you're new here and you aren't following, follow the channel. Easy clap. We're also 10 followers away from affiliates. Wowie. Does anybody have the coffee pasta? Okay, my lineup is pretty good. <laughs> run ads anyways. I can't. I don't have the ability to run an ad. I would if I could, dude. I would if I could. pretty solid. Guys, I'm actually cracked. I mean, it kind of makes sense for Twitch to not have... Okay, lemon, lemon. Don't use that copy pasta if you don't have the emote. It's... It... Don't do that. <laughs> don't do it. Some Twitch channels will ban you if you, or they'll time you out if you use emo codes if you don't have the emo. So just be careful. Yeah, Sag Lemon. Sag. You know what I'm sad about? Cause 
I was doing the math, like paying off my credit card for this month and stuff. I really shouldn't have spent a hundred dollars on my fucking Halloween costume. Because I <laughs> after I pay off my credit card for this month, I'm only gonna have like twenty dollars. <laughs> so it's gonna be I'm gonna be like broke broke. Which is fine. I just have to wait for my pay up for November to come out and I'll be okay, but yeah, ouch. <laughs> it's just like, damn. I mean, that's what happens when you're not smarter with your money. Like, I legitimately could have just bought the cape and not bought, like, the bodysuit thing. I could have just worn a red shirt and I would have been solid. That's why I never spend more than a hundred. Yeah. I mean, because I usually budget myself. Because I make Twitch money right every month, so that's one to three hundred, depending on how well the month was. And then I get another, like, one fifty from doing chores and stuff. But my sister's gonna stop paying me for chores this weekend. So I'm not gonna have any money unless my disability gets approved. I, I would like to say I'm just being I'm being very transparent. I don't want anybody to feel bad. Um, you know, that's how life is. You know, I got myself in this situation. I could have been better with my money, you know. Like, I, I hate talking about it. And I feel bad because I don't want to farm for that reason. But the best thing people can do to support it is just watch the stream and chat. That's honestly the best thing. Because if you are actively engaging, if you like what I do, the more you engage, then more people will watch eventually. When did you get your Twitch payout? Well, my payout for October transfers tomorrow. But that's going towards this month's credit card payment. I saw a speck over here and I thought it was black, but it wasn't. Anyway, so... Because revenue for October, because the way the Twitch payouts work is... any You get monthly earnings, but you get it halfway through the next calendar month. So any money I made in October, I get tomorrow. And October's revenue was low, and that's fine. Because we had less people um, gift for the sketch cards, that's why. We had, like... Because the previous month, we had, like, seven people, right? But this past month, October, we only had three. Which is fine. Like, the only way for me to be sustainable is to work on ways to grow the channel. And that takes time. So obviously there's going to be times when there's lows along with peaks. Because, like, I don't ever want to tweet tw treat Twitch as, like, a main source of income. Because I know that's not sustainable. But I don't want to, like, not farm, you know? Like, I don't want to be a streamer that has, like, a thousand followers and only, like, ten subs. Because that- if somebody has those type of numbers, then that means either you're not encouraging people to subscribe, maybe you're not running enough ads, maybe your incentives for people to subscribe aren't good enough. Because... Um, in terms of people who pay to subscribe, like the regular tier ones, I think I have 10 people. Which is a lot. That's really good. And then the rest are primes and gifted. The reason why I don't count primes as a regular sub is because they're not a guaranteed resub. Because a lot of people will use their primes on different people. And we don't know if Twitch is going to take away Twitch Prime.
Because I think not enough people treat Twitch as like a business. Like, I think a lot of people just look at their analytics and that's it, but once you're making money, even a little bit, you still have to have like a plan of action. Yours expires in two days, Sag. I, oh, I, wait, I was gonna say, so since I'm not gonna have any money for December, um, I had to cancel a few of my Twitch subscriptions, like my, cause like I have a Twitch Turbo, so I don't necessarily need to subscribe to people. But I had to cancel more and I was like, damn, I'm gonna ruin, I'm gonna have to end my 10 month sub streak on Emmy's channel. And I was like, fuck dude, I, I felt sad. Cause last month I had to cancel my Connery's Pants one, cause I, I'm like a year sub in Connery's Pants. But I felt bad canceling Emmy's cause you know you gotta support the small streamers, but I, I genuinely can't afford. five dollars and when I say I can't afford I mean like if you look at all your other expenses obviously some are gonna take priority like obviously you want to make sure you have like your phone bill paid so I could keep that five dollar subscription going but I shouldn't and I was a big sad. Because I, I had to cancel it this morning because it renews tonight. And I was like, fuck, dude. Feels bad, man. Okay, we got lines done for red. Nearly perfect. Look at that shit. able to physically work is another layer because like you hear all these arguments to where like oh if you don't have money just work but it's like it's not that easy for some people I gotta I don't like to get in spats on Twitter or anything or like in comments because it's kind of not worth because people who are arguing aren't in the headset or headspace to like learn But you just have to, like... Hmm. I was gonna say share your story, but I don't know if that's the right wording. I think you have to share your story and experiences in a way that's not too, like... Lectury, I guess. Because, like I said, not everybody wants to hear from you. Like, I'm never gonna get... Into, like, a petty little argument. Where the person obviously doesn't want to learn or listen. Because I feel like a lot of people online, they just want to fight. Or argue, rather. And, like, there's times where I'm like that. Like, if I'm talking with a friend or with my parents, I'm like, I kind of want to win. But then you also have to understand that... When both people in the discussion you could say are in that mindset then it's not going to be productive because to me the people who get into those little spats on twitter you're just wasting your time like your time is so valuable why waste your time arguing with people who don't give a fuck Like, it's so easy to mute or block people online. Just do that more. Like, it's not worth hearing all that noise. That's why, like, everybody I follow... I don't follow people just to follow them back. Like, I follow them because I like what they do. 
or they're a good person, you know? Like, that's why you see, I don't follow many people. Like, I think it's a red flag when somebody is following more than they have followers. It gives very much, like, follow for follow vibes. follow people more than I have followers I mean I mean people who are trying to be like creators or influencers <laughs> I'm not talking about you you're fine I'm not bashing you right now lemon I promise you <laughs> Meg cry you know what I'm talking about Okay, this line art is going to take a lot longer than anticipated. Because I'm trying my damnedest to not fuck up. Because similar to the other painting I showed earlier, since I'm doing black on top of color and varnish, I cannot afford to make a mistake. Like, this literally has to be perfect. That's why I don't like using tape, because sometimes the paint bleeds through, and then it's going to ruin it. So it's like, how am I going to trust the tape when I got my own hands? Okay, very nice. Getting there. Dude, that line was crazy. Wait, no way! Thank you, Mac, for a gifted sub on the main channel, The Lemon, People Pog, wow. I'll write your name tomorrow on stream, Mac, but thank you. 
Lemon can spam now. Mac is the best chatter, honestly. On God, on God. So thank you, Mac. If I was rich, I would give all my chatter subs. But thank you, Mac. Yeah, now you guys can fight. <laughs> In game, of course. Um, Lemon, you better make Mac a thank you card, because they went out of their way to do that for you. You know, it's gotta be at least 150 words, MLA format. Gotta cite your five sources. But thank you, Mac. I appreciate that, hun. I'll get to work then. <laughs> I pray I don't get gifted if that were the requirement. <laughs> Dear Mac. <laughs> yeah, make that your copy pasta for today, Lemon. I haven't made any major mistakes, and I'm genuinely surprised. It's been... <laughs> I've been working for nearly an hour. Wait, why is my mouth moving so much? Hold. Oh. Whoa. Why was my... That was weird. The mouth was, like, moving when I wasn't talking. That was weird. Are you single to song? No. I, that's what I thought. I thought it was. I was. I thought it was capturing the song, but it shouldn't be. Okay, I think it's fine now. I think it was just glitching. We'll be good. Be Gucci. Now you're fine, Lemon. I I knew what you meant. But that's what I thought it was doing. Because, like, for the software, you can choose which input device is capturing from. So you can choose to capture it from your desktop audio. Because the software is independently developed. So, obviously, there's going to be glitches, but that's fine. That's anticipated. Your Wi-Fi is so bad. Get good. I mean, our internet costs, like, 130 bucks. It's crazy. But that's for, like, the... Upload speed, not necessarily the Wi Fi that is included. It's fucking expensive. Was moving on its own when you're away from the screen huh was it making any noises though because like i did a few testing recordings and it made like a glitching sound like a... <laughs> it's weird wait let me make sure it's like capturing the right audio yeah it is huh weird Meg is haunted confirmed, yeah. I think that's just the software, like, bugging out, honestly. But yeah, guys, if anything's weird during today's stream, like, tell me. 
Because this is the first time I'm trying out the model. Yeah, see how... Yeah, because it captures sound, not necessarily like, if I'm saying anything. It's like if I click my mouse or hit the table too hard, it'll capture it. If I get this painting done, hmm, I was gonna say soon enough, but I don't know how long it's gonna take. Maybe we can play Cold to the Lamb later. I'll think about it. So I'll probably finish this in like two, three hours. Like, being honest, because if it took me an hour to do this line art, it'll probably be like another three, let's be honest. So, Crystal's prediction being like, oh my god, four hours. So I'll go stream, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> now I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Because, like, on my offline save, I just defeated um, Anura. Or no, heck it. The second main boss, the frog guy, in World 2. So I don't want to play ahead of my stream save. So I can't play my offline save because I'm caught up. 
to where we are on stream. So that's that's the main reason why. Cause I want to play some more, but I can't. Cause I don't want to. I don't want to play ahead. Cause I <laughs> I played 11 hours in that offline save, and I'm only on day 50. I think. And then on stream, um, I'm on like day 80, but I have like 20 play hours. I think that just goes to show um, that I'm actually a good gamer and that being on stream makes me worse. You know. I felt so bad because like on the Saturday tournament, I was legitimately trying. I was tryharding. But it's so hard because like when you're on stream, you have to like simultaneously... Um, yeah, go for it, Lemon. You have to, like, be entertaining. Like, like we, like I said at the beginning of the VC, with my teammates, I was like, you know, I want to try and talk. Like, I don't want to be boring and not talk, but that's basically what I did. Um. <laughs> so. Because, like, I was still trying to be, like, entertaining for chat, because, like, I knew that I couldn't talk to you guys. That's why I was, like, emoting more. Like, I was still trying to be, like, entertaining. Because I, I didn't want to, like, do nothing, you know? Like, the gameplay suffered, but, you know. It do be like that. Because I, I think a lot of people fail to realize. They're like, oh, streaming is just playing the game. But it's like, no. You have to actually... You're an entertainer. Like, you have to actually try to be entertaining. Dear Mac, thank you for gifting a sub to the Peace and Too Much stream, and thanks for your spectacular gift, and thanks- Oh, I offered you this dance. Again, thank you for the gift and sub. We're excited. Me. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, the best reward you can do is just keep spamming, honestly. Spam like your life depends on it. You know, I think Max said before they like the emotes because they like seeing things move on screen. Dude, the white balance is fucked today. Sorry, let me fix that. That's because I have the ISO really high. Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck? What's too dark? There you go. Yeah, it's not as bright now. It's better. Yeah, I agree. Pizza Two Punch goes crazy. I think it's, I think I've peaked. I don't think I can make anything better than Pizza Two Punch. But I think it's because that was the only emote that I actually like keyed out the background. I think Pizza Two Spin is pretty solid. Pizza Two Vibe is good too. Honestly, all my e animated emotes are good. Oh, I wanted to talk about. I don't know if we'll hit affiliate on this channel in November, and that's fine. Maybe December. But I don't know if I want to do screenshot emotes for this channel. Maybe we can do emotes based off, like, the PNG tuber model? I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Because I got time. I'll just punch my laptop since I can't punch right now. No, don't do that. That would be a good joke though. That would be a good gag. Maybe I'll make like a Meg hyper punch emote for like an extension emote. Maybe I can do that. And then we can coma create red. I think that would go crazy. Because, like, I've seen a few channels, like, affiliate channels, who will make their sub emotes, their 7 TV emotes, and I think that's kind of dumb. Because if somebody can get your sub emotes for free, why would they pay to be a sub, honestly? I think that's actually DUM for people to do. Like, yes, it's making them more accessible, but still kind of dumb. 
Because the only reason why I sub to people is so I can have the emotes. Because I have turbo. It is dumb, I agree. It's fucking DUM. I've only- I've seen it like a handful of channels, and they're all affiliates, and it's just like, that's a fucking brain dead move to do. And they wonder why they have low sub count. Hey, yo, got him! revised thank you note rip mobile map watching mobile is ass desktop is so much better like the only time I watch twitch on mobile is if I'm doing audio only like if I'm listening to a stream as I'm doing chores or something. Good thing watching a mobile isn't good, it's just like it's not the best way to experience it. What I do like about YouTube streams is that if you're listening to a stream and you have like YouTube premium, then you can listen to the stream on in the background with the app closed, with no delay, and it's really nice. Because I remember when Ludwig first switched to YouTube, I was on like a, a trip. So I was able to listen to a stream in the background, like with my phone, the screen turned off with no delay, and it was really nice. Because I think he did like a QA and a stream, and I was just listening to it in the car. And it didn't use any more data. Because watching Twitch on mobile, like on the go, it eats up so much of your data, it's horrible. Like, I remember one day I was biking home from work, this was like a year ago, and I listened to like 20 minutes of Hassan stream, like on mobile in my pocket, and it used like so much of my data, it was bad. Like, my mom got mad. <laughs> Because at that point, we didn't have unlimited data. I still think working in a library would be really fun, though. Because even once I graduate, I still think that'd be a good job. Because, like, in my area, the starting wage for a librarian is $30 an hour. And that's even if you work at the front desk. Isn't that crazy? $30 a fucking hour? Insanity. I mean, that's because, like, librarians are technically government workers. And they have unions.
But still, that's so much money. That's like double our minimum wage in our state. Because I think our minimum is like 14 something. I know in some cities it's 15, but it's crazy. Are you done with the painting yet? No. If it was done, the time would be stopped, you silly. Yeah, go. The piano in the back reminds me of Undertale. But I know it's not that. play after eastward i think some of the games in the nintendo direct look good the indie ones where is this i think this is yoshi let me check Oh, it's Kirby. No, it's Yoshi. <laughs> Lobo. I think I straighten these lines. They're a bit crooked. There we go. What I do like about having this setup is that I think it's probably easier on my computer, like having one less capture card plugged in, especially since the art streams are longer. Because like there's been a few times recently in the past few weeks where my laptop is like bricked, where it's just frozen. So I'm kind of concerned. I don't want to bust it. Because, like, my laptop is, like, my whole life. Like, so many of my friends are online. Streaming's online. My whole- my school is online. So it's like, I can't afford to have it bust and break. afford I mean like financially and mentally like it would actually break me if I didn't have my computer
I think the reason why this painting and the one I did offline took a lot longer is because since the design arts are more structured, like precision is the most important. Like freehand lines, or having lines that look like they are freehand would not look good for this piece. So it's fine if it takes a bit longer. Black Friday's coming up, if it does break, you could find another one. True, true. But I'm only gonna have 20 bucks next week, so. I, I don't think I can buy a laptop for 20 bucks, my guy. <laughs> Cause that'd be crazy. Maybe from like a junkyard or something. Did imagine if laptops were that cheap. I went, okay, generally, how much does it cost to make a laptop? I wonder how much the upcharge is. I would think maybe like parts and like labor costs cost max like 60%. Maybe find a used one. True. True. I mean, I still don't think I could find a used one for 20 bucks. I think that's kind of pushing it. <laughs> you know, it'd probably be 20 bucks and then something else, you know? You could try. Holy. Find a cheap used laptop that I can stream from impossible difficulty. at like the things we would need to buy like household essentials like kitchen tools utensils i want to get tupperware so that way when i do meal prep i can easily like portion everything out and we were worried because we can't put anything into the walls so we we're like damn we can't like wall mount our tvs but we found this like standing tv mount and it rotates and i'm like bro that's literally what i need because my room my bed is adjacent to my stream setup, so I can't watch my TV from my bed. Because, um, like, you know how my stream setup for the main channel? It's, like, my chair against, like, an empty wall. So my dresser faces an empty wall, so, like, I can't see my TV from my bed. But we found, like, a standing TV stand <laughs> to where it rotates the TV and you don't have to wall mount it. And it's like, bro, why didn't we look this up sooner? Because now I can actually play games, like, if I'm laying in bed or something. Because, like, my chair is comfy, but, like, I can't sit in my chair for eight hours and play. Cult, dude, on Thursday? Guys, I think I'm mentally ill. I played Cold with Lamb for no joke. No joke. Eight hours straight. And, like, I only took a break to, like, heat up some food and then get water. But I played it for eight fucking hours straight. I'm crazy. Crazy cracked at the game. Cause I beat I beat the first world and then one boss of world two in that eight hours. It's actually crazy. I should have recorded it. Insane. Anyway, so I'm excited about getting that mount. That way I can be like cozy in bed, like, actually watching a movie not on my phone screen, like, on the big TV. I forget to get up sometimes, yeah. I mean, like, I constantly have to shift. You guys will see it on the main channel where, like, I have to adjust. Because if I sit stationary for too long, my, my legs go numb and that's bad, so I have to, like, adjust every, like, 30-ish minutes. 
that way that don't happen. Because there's been a too few times where, like, I'll get up and my legs will be numb and I almost trip kind of bad, so I have to be careful. On my own, like, something I'm legitimately scared about is that since we're moving to, like, a triplex, there's, like, an upstairs area, right? And the bedrooms are upstairs, of course, and I'm so scared of one of us, like, tripping and dying. Like... And of course, they're wooden stairs. Like, the wooden stairs are pretty. They're beautiful. But wooden stairs are, like, the most unsafe thing you can have in your house. Because, like, you're already likely to trip on your fucking stairs. But, because carpet, it gives you a bit more traction. But on wooden stairs, you can just slip and die. So I, I have to make sure that everybody's wearing, like, at least slippers or something. Like, no socks on the stairs. You have concrete stairs? What? <laughs> Are you guys toddlers? Shut up, Mac. What if I said my grandpa died when he fell down the stairs? Would that make you feel bad, huh? Huh? Okay, he didn't. He had a stroke and he died. <laughs> but <laughs> you could put traction tape? What is I thought is that actually a thing? Are you trolling? I'm a sneeze. I'm a sneeze. <laughs> uh, I'm good. Oh, to get to the basement? Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. But, like, stairs going from, like, the upstairs to downstairs. Like, I'm genuinely surprised it's not carpet. You're not gonna like my answer to that? <laughs> wait, wait, what did I ask? <laughs> wait, 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 did I ask? Do you feel bad? Is that what I said? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Retro. See, I don't remember half the things I say. Like, one day I'm probably gonna say something sus and not realize it. Like, actually self-report or something. Yeah, you did. <laughs> but like I said, my grandpa, he died of a stroke. Sag. Because I think they had stairs in their house, but they were carpet. Agreed. Our attic scares me because, like, it has like the little pull-down wooden foldable stairs that go up into it, and the ceiling isn't high enough. And I'm five two, and even I have to crouch in the attic. And there's like nails protruding from the ceiling. Like, there's been a times I've gone into the attic and like I've stabbed my head with a rusty nail. Maybe that's why I'm fucked up. Anyway. Uh, but like we have rodents in our attic, so like I'm so scared to open it because I'm scared like a, a raccoon's gonna fly out. Like my dad usually has to put like traps up there. And some tables are gonna squirrel or a possum. Your attic doesn't have a floor? What? Ow. Do you guys just like float? Wait, what? What? How does it not have a floor? Are you ghosts or something? Or is it just like not flooring, like unfinished or something? What? I'm perplexed. Oh, it's just a cop. That's what I thought you meant, like the unfinished, like the insulation. Yeah, don't go up there, that's toxic. Or it's, like, toxic if you breathe it in. Like, the fiberglass. I think it's what it's called. Yeah, we have exposed um, fiberglass in our attic, too. But I don't touch it, because I'm not dumb. I mean, I'm not dumb, but I am D-U-N. <laughs> yeah, I think having room in the attic would be cute. 
He would just have to make sure there's proper insulation. Because, like, our attic is really cool. And it leaks. But you know what? I won't have to worry about all that shit when we, when we move. It's gonna be a-okay. Because, like... I feel like it's a, everyone's, like, American dream to have their own house. But when you have your own house, you have to do your own maintenance. But if you live in, like, an apartment or duplex or whatever, then somebody else handles it. And that seems pretty cool. You really want a garage room? Why? An attic is so much cooler. I mean, I guess climbing up the stairs would be a hassle. Yeah, because, like, we have, like, an external garage here at home. And my dad was going to renovate it into, like, a studio apartment, but he didn't. <laughs> so, lol, mal. Yeah, I agree. Like, I feel like it'd be unsafe to sleep in a garage that does have that, like, lift-up door for cars. Because, like, one, that's not proper insulation. And then also, like, I feel like somebody could, like, pry it open. Oh, I thought you meant, like, an actual, like, the car door, not the actual door door in a garage. Yeah, what would you do if someone did open it at night? Yeah, I agree. That's why, like, I like the place we're going to, because like I said, it's like a triplex. So, like, the units are connected, and like, the bedrooms are upstairs, so I feel like a little bit safer. My only concern is that this is why I didn't want an apartment. Like, there's so, like, if somebody pops off with their gun, it could blast through your walls. Like, I don't know anybody that's happened to, but it's still scary to think about it. To think about. Because, like, I already live in a populous area, right? But where I'm moving to... ...is a slightly more populated area, like the population density. <gasps> no! I smeared. Oh my god, thank fuck I caught it in time. Oh my god. See, like, I have a smudge right here. Oh my fucking god. Dude, that was close. Saved. Guys, I would've lost my mind. I, I legitimately would end stream. <laughs> oh, that's the type of garage we have at our house, Mac. But, like, cats... Because, <laughs> like, the door isn't fully, like, up to the ground, so, like, cats can still crawl under it. Like, we have a lot of cats that hide in our garage. It's really cute. Well, I'm so excited. I told you guys how I get to cat sit one of my roommate's cats for December. I'm really excited. Here it's harder to break through a garage door, but you don't trust it. Is it really? Yeah, I wouldn't ha want to have any room that someone can directly access if someone were to break it. Oh yeah. Anyway, like as I was saying, I already live in a pretty populous era or area, but where we're moving to is more highly densely populated, and there's more like. I guess you could say small crime that happens in that area, which is fine because like just in general crime rates aren't crazy high in most areas. It's just like which crimes are like I see the smudge now. Like which crimes are reported and stuff. Oh no. Oh shit, it's on the white, of course. Oh, fuck me, dude. Okay, I'm trying to scratch it off. Oh no.
Guys, collectors in shambles. Okay, I've I've scratched most of it off. Um, collectors will just say that this happened in transport, okay? I would sleep just finding it, damn. Mac is brave. I'm a little wimp. See, look, I fixed it, I fixed it. You can't even tell there's a smudge, huh? You can't tell. Does your garage have windows? Uh, yeah, but they're covered. Or Mac? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, guys, we are basically another hour in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you. It's hashtag free to follow if you're new here and you aren't following. Drop a follow. It's hashtag free to follow. And if you follow, you can chat and hang out with us. Keep a pog. Wow. So if you aren't following, follow right now. Lemon, don't give people ideas. Don't give them ideas. You know, don't entertain the intrusive thoughts. Yeah, I think the idea of a studio apartment is really nice, but I think I'd go crazy living in something like that. Like, not having any separation from, like, the other rooms. I mean, like, it wouldn't really be a problem if you're living by yourself, but, like, if you're living with a partner or, like, a, like, a, like, your relationship partner is what I mean. Like, I feel like you need to have some degree of separation from them. Like, I always say this, if I ever have, like, a G-up or something, or a B-up, ew. Um, I'd still want, like, if we were to live, with, live together, I'd still want, like, a separate bedroom if we could afford it. Because I think having your own space is important. Like, you don't want to have too much of your identity associated with your partner. And, like, I know I need my alone time sometimes, you know? And if you share a room, you don't you don't really have that space. My parents would do it to convince me to stay. Damn, that's kind of cute, or is that toxic? I don't know. <laughs> uh. I mean, it's nice that they want to do something like that, but you know, you gotta have your own. You gotta learn how to pay your own bills and shit. You gotta learn how to live your own. I think it's, like, important for any young person to have, like, the roommate experience. Because, like, I'm 23. I haven't lived on my own yet. And that's what I'm super excited about. Because, like, you can't live with your parents forever. Because, like, I feel like never had your own room damn I I can't do that shit because <laughs> my sister and I used to share a room up until we were like too big enough to so I think in like when I was in probably sixth grade we split rooms because that's when we couldn't like fit in our bunk beds anymore there's lots of rooms for rent here yeah same in my area too but I don't think I could live with strangers. It's kind of scary. Because, like... Um... I don't ever want to be, like, hurt by somebody. By hurt, I mean, like, have somebody do crimes to me. Is a nice way of saying it. And, like, I can understand that can happen with family and friends, too. But I, I feel like I'm more trusting of those people than fucking randos on, like... 
Craigslist to rent out rooms. Dude, you're 14 when you got your own room. Dude, I think it's weird to share a room when you're, like, experiencing puberty. Like, I would not be able to do it. Because, like, the room that I'm currently in now used to be our craft room. And then my sister's room was the room that we shared. So my mom just had to give up her craft room in order to give me a room. taken weekend trips with friends and stuff and like we would each like share a room or like rent our own rooms and it was nice to like have even though it wasn't my space like still have like I guess peace from everybody else because when you live in a house that's really small or like an apartment too like there's usually never a quiet moment like, one of my friends, they've only lived in apartments, and I, I can't imagine that. Like, living out your whole childhood without your own... Like, always being next to somebody. Or hearing your navels run around the floor. Or run around your ceiling all the time. I, I can't. Like, I understand why some families, or like, single parent families, have to live in apartments but I just think it's it it's not a good way to live I don't think people should be able to barely afford apartments I think it's psychotic like rental rates are crazy and it's not that we don't have enough space for everybody here it's just a matter of people can't afford to have their own living space weird like sleeping with your sibling in the same room I think it's weird because like it, like you said if you had a separate room for activities you'd probably still keep your clothes in the bedroom so you still would have to like change in the same room weird because that's the thing I hated like sharing a room with my sister because I feel like a lot of families like you're close with enough with each other to where you can see each other change but I still thought it was weird, like, when my sister and I were sharing a room, we would change in the bathroom. Because both my sister and I were very, like, private people. Because even now, because, like, my parents, um, they're very open, you could say. But there's been times where, like, I'm taking a bath. We're not allowed to lock the doors in our rooms. Which is weird. Because my parents are like, you know, this is our house, our rules. But, you know, I still lock my bedroom door. <laughs> no snitches. But anyway, there's been a few times where, like, I'm taking a bath, and my mom will, like, barge in. And she'll be like, well, I need to piss. I'm like, well, I'm fucking taking a bath. And, like, she'll still barge in, and it's fucking weird. Like, I hate it. I hate it. Like, it's such an evasion of privacy, but, you know, my mom doesn't get it. it like, it's, I've, I've, I've explained little things before, but there's a lot of shit that they do that is kind of, like, not okay, but, you know, it's not enough to constitute, um, A-B-U- A-B-U-S-E. It's weird.
Your door just doesn't lock. Fuck, dude, I would hate that shit. Yours doesn't either, dude. You know what's wild? I know how to pick locks. Wowie. I'm not saying that I would pick someone's bedroom door, that's very inappropriate, but I know how to pick locks. I dad taught me. Because the, <laughs> the reason why I learned is because one time at work, I accidentally locked the score, st the store key to lock the outside door with in the bathrooms. So I was freaking out and I had to call my dad. I was like, hey dad, because I really didn't want to call my manager. I was like, dad, can you please unlock this door? Like, please. So I didn't want to get in trouble. The locks in my house are really easy to pick. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, my parents' bedroom's door is really easy to pick, I've learned. Not that I want to go in there, but it's really easy. Where's my water bin? Oh, it's down here. You know it's kind of cool that I didn't know? Uh, like if you're renting out an apartment or whatever, you have to disclose anytime you lock a door or like get any new keys, locks, or anything. And you have to disclose if you have any cameras to your property owner. I didn't know that. It was actually kind of good. That way there's no secret cameras. And vice versa, they have to disclose if they have any cameras on the property. I was like, hmm. Damn. When your friend leaves you on red. Damn. Feels bad, man. But I do that shit too. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. It's just like... Okay, okay. It's not that I don't want to talk to people. It's just... I have a very limited social battery. So if I don't want to hold a conversation, or if the other person isn't, like, holding a conversation, or if they don't seem like they want to think about talk, or if they don't want to talk to me, or, like, they aren't putting in the effort, quote-unquote, then I won't respond. Easy. I feel bad, but, you know, I don't want to waste my time. But then, when the person you want to talk to doesn't respond, Saggy. I oh, don't know, double standards are cool. You've been thinking about your own door lock? I mean, you'd have to ask your parents first, right? Because, look, my parents' argument as to why we're not allowed to lock doors is that, like, what if there's an emergency and you die and we have to get in the room? It's like, true. But it's like, I think there'd rather be an emergency with them because they're old. <laughs> you know, I'm young, I'm spry. I might be disabled, but you know, I'm not old. Should we update IG or no? We're not really done with this part, are we? Dude, this is taking forever. anyone else's parents sleep with the door wide open my parents they don't have they have a door but they have a curtain instead of a door that they use to close off the bedroom it's it's wild like i said my parents don't care about privacy and some nights it's really awkward let's say but you know once i move out i don't gotta think about any of this shit 
Yeah, ew, it's gross. But they don't care. That's so weird. Yeah, I know. I know. Like I said, there's a lot of things that go on that are weird, but it doesn't constitute as an unsafe home. It's kind of weird when you think about it. I think it's different because like, I'm an adult, I'm not a child anymore. BRB, okay, bye-bye. Parents are just odd when it comes to space. I think it's one of those things where, like, they think that, you know, we birthed you, you know, we changed your diapers and shit, it doesn't matter, but, like, once you're, like, an adult or once you're grown, it's different. <laughs> Babies in the bathroom with the door wide open. I know, their parents do that shit, too. It's, it's just wild. I don't get it. Because, like, if anybody else did that, that'd be constituted as, like, harassment. That's a weird thing. Like, if your uncle did that shit, he'd be going to jail. But your parents do it, and it's A-okay. It's weird. I don't get it. I promise y'all, if I ever have kids, I'm not gonna do weird shit. You know, I'm gonna buy them a phone when they're four years old just because they want it. I'm gonna let them lock their doors and leave their toys out. I'll let them do whatever they want. But I'm never having kids. No way, Jose. Y'all give them their own rooms. I'll let them get whatever snacks they want. I mean, okay, I feel like if you can't afford to have your kid have their own room, then you shouldn't have kids. Easy. And I mean, like, I know there's obviously cases where, like, you have an oops baby, right? But if you were, like, attempting to have kids... I don't think you should use the argument, well, I can't afford to buy you this, or I can't afford to give this to my child. It's like, well, if you can't afford it, then why do you have a child? Hmm. Like, I think... I, I It's... <laughs> not saying that I advocate for you know, the one-child policy, but it's like... If you were going to live in poverty with more than one kid... Or if you were to be in, like, poverty, if you had to provide for more than one child, then just don't have another kid. Holy shit, I smeared. Oh, dude, that would've been bad. Look at that. I mean, I just don't think anybody should be able to have a kid. I think there should be, like, training classes. You should have, like, income verification. Dude, that's sad to hear. Like, ah. Uh. And like, you know the families where they have like more than four kids? I I can't imagine, like how stressful it must be for the parents and then also the kids. Like having that many people in a house, even if you have more than four kids and everybody only has two kids per room, that's that's still a lot.
Yeah, but that's so wild, like, sharing bunk beds in, like, late teen years. That's crazy. I mean, were the bunk beds long enough? Like, bruh. Like, I don't think these sell adult-sized bunk beds. drama, am I right? See, like, I don't think I could ever justify having a kid. Because, like, one, I don't want to, like, potentially mutilate my genitalia. Um, look at the husband stitch girlies. Um, and then also... Like, just because things are fine as they are now doesn't mean your relationship will be fine. Doesn't mean your financial standings will be fine for, like, the whole duration of the child's life. Like, I can never justify it. It's like, I don't even want to have a pet. Because it's like, if I do start working, what if I lose my job? Then I can't feed my pet, and obviously I'm going to want to feed my pet. That's the scenario where you shouldn't have kids? Yeah. That's why, like... I understand that the adoption process is really extensive and really, like, invasive in terms of, like, the people applying to adopt a child, but I feel like it makes sense. Because you don't want to have the government get the kids a fucked up home if they're able to stop it. Like, you don't see no poor-ass bitches adopting a child. It's always middle-class people. One of my neighbors, they had an oopsie baby. They're a few years older than me, so I think he's, like, probably 27. Because I think he's, a f like, four years older than me. But he had a kid last year. Accidental baby. And he still lives with his parents. And they're this really, like, sweet couple, right? Um, and he still lives with them. And they have the girlfriend and the, the child living with them, too. Like, every other day. But it's just like, if you're living at home with your parents, why are you having a kid? Like, I, I can understand if it's an oopsie baby, but, like, I just found out from, like, rumors around the neighborhood. You know, we have one gossip neighbor, and they were saying how his girlfriend is pregnant again. And this time it's intentional, and it's just like, what the fuck? Like, you're still living at home. You obviously can't support yourself and your child, your current fucking baby. And you're having another kid? I can understand you're in your late 20s, but like, if you can't afford it, what, what are you doing? And my dad was saying the same thing. He's like, why is he having another kid? But it's just like, when society tells you that you have to have a full family by the time you're 30, then people will do it, even if they can't afford it. It's fucking stupid. People are so obsessed with this normal American dream that they don't realize that you might not be putting your family to the best environment. It's sad. Anyway, that's why I'm not having a pet to lay like I make, um, Middle class wages, easy. Cause like, I see so many Facebook posts, not from like friends, but just like on Facebook, to where the people are like, oh. Oh, I have to get rid of my cat. Anybody wanna adopt my cat? Cause I can't afford it anymore. And it's just sad. 
Because obviously that cat probably loves you and you have to give them away. Like, it's probably going to traumatize the animal too. Like, I can imagine having to, like, come to that decision to do that. I would never want to put myself in that position. So then I'm just never going to have a pet. Easy. Dude, this looks wild with just the black outline. It's so cute though. Like my sister is super excited to cat sit our our friend's family's cat, right? In December. Like my sister's already bought like a few little cat toys for it. It's adorable. Cause the last time we had a family pet was back in like two thousand and 14 because we had a pet rabbit and he died that year I think so we haven't had like any pets in a long ass time Software was glitching again. Oh look. She's picking up audio when I'm not. Let's see right here. Oh, it's because there was a train going by. That's why I was picking up audio. Okay, I think we're fine now. I adjusted the input level. How many roommates do I have? Well, um, We'll probably have five, including myself, but everyone's moving in at different times. Uh, this is why I can't have a stream room, because there's um, five bedrooms. So, we have one roommate who's already there, um, and they've been living there for about two weeks, but... He doesn't know how to cook or do housework, so he's just been, like, eating out every day. <laughs> and then 
we have one more person who's moving in summer or spring of next year because they're they're like an international student so they're coming and they're staying from like spring to summer next year and then we have one more person who's moving in probably February at least you can do laundry yeah I mean when I say housework I mean like I guess cleaning and stuff like, I hope they know how to do their own laundry. I mean, once I move in, I'm going to be the dedicated housekeeper. Because since my sister is paying for my expenses, I'm basically going to play wifey. So she's going to, quote unquote, pay me to do housework. How can you not clean? Uh, have you looked at some, like, frat houses, my guy? Some are disgusting. I think it's not a matter of not knowing how to clean, it's a matter of, like, cleaning properly. <laughs> Alright, I guess. <laughs> soon how short are you gonna cut your hair are you just gonna do a trim or are you gonna go short because i think you said your hair is like shoulder length right short again i've been considering like you know how people will shave like just the back underside of their head i don't know if i should do that because like all i hear is that it makes it like it's like less weight and it feels so much lighter. You might get an undercut, dude. That'd go crazy. <laughs> you, <laughs> you would like extra gauge. See, that's what I was kind of thinking about doing too, but I don't know. I kind of like how my- I, I, it took me a long ass time for me to like heal my hair and I don't want to cut it. I mean, like I'll trim, but I don't think I could ever chop too much off. And I don't think short hair would look good on me. Cause I, I have a very fat head. Cause my brain is so big. go for it uh nodded i'm too much of a wimp i mean like i don't have the huge desire to do it i think it'd be cool but it's like you know how when you yearn for something i don't yearn to do it i just think it'd be like kind of cool but I'm not like dying to cut my hair. Cause I kind of like the look of longer, more femme hair personally. Cause I think I'm in my femme era. Like I kind of want to look cute. I'm not saying that mask isn't cute, but I, I'm in the mood to be more femme. I love the look of like long hair like long wavy hair but then I also like the look of like short bobs I don't know I think I just like everything yeah we love the they thems How does 
my VTuber model look though? It doesn't really look like me. That's fine. I think it's cute. It's fine. <laughs> fine, we'll make it better then. I low-key forgot about it, Lamau. Sag. But I worked so hard on it. I mean, I literally... It took three hours. Are you done yet? No. No. Not really. It's probably gonna be like another two hours. Sag. Yeah, like getting a fade. I love when people like shave the patterns into the undercuts. I think it looks fucking sick. Is it we play? Yes, it is. This is a we play compilation. You are correct. One point for Lemon. Dude, we're gonna get the Wii set up in the living room, and it's gonna be so fun. I wouldn't necessarily be able to stream from the Wii right away, because I have to get cables and stuff to capture the audio. But me and my sister have been, like, itching to play. I think the most traumatizing thing from playing the Wii is that... If you were overweight and did like the Wii Fit test, it would be like do 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 if you were obese. And I was always obese. <laughs> Your dad would be sad if he got an undercut. Well, I would say wait till you move out then. Shit. I'll check what game it is. It's not the bubble one, I'm thinking. It's the pose me. I don't know what that is. Dude, Wii music goes crazy. <laughs> Just sister my mom speaks from. Dude, that's literally my dad too. I mean, just wait till you move out, Mac. Then you can do whatever you want. I guess not worth creating any unnecessary tension. Mac with an undercut would go crazy, but I think we can wait a little bit, huh? Because the thing I've learned after living with my parents for so long is you don't want to do anything to rock the boat. Because when they have any semblance of financial control, not worth. They'll just get over it, dude. I wish I could do that type of shit. Nothing will be let fly in our house.
okay, as long as it's kind of hidden, then I think it's fine. I was thinking where, like, you just shave the whole sides and then you have, like, the short on top. That's what I think of when I think of undercut. You don't like that look, really? I think it looks cool. We're getting there. Holy, it's been two and a half hours already. This is crazy. Hey, you're all right. I think this is the pool song. Yeah, I don't think I could ever work with oil paint. Because I drag my hands too much. It'd be a disaster. You know what else would it be? Fuck. You know what else would be a disaster? Having to run ads, but I don't. So y'all are lucky.
this is the fishing one. Ooh, that line was like perfect, totally. Okay, we're getting to the last section. I was gonna say get ready to spam, I was here, but we're not we're not even close to being done. Lomo. Would you do a mullet type of look? No! No. I fucking hate them. I don't like how they look so messy. I mean, I think they look nice than other people, but I would never. I would never. It's because, like, I don't really like the feeling of my hair touching my neck, and I feel like if I cut it like that, it would not look good tied up. Yeah, I agree. It would look cute with curly hair, but no. No, never. 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 I mean, not for me. I think it would look cute on anybody else but me. Not me, no sir. bag it took me a year for my hair to grow two inches because my hair was that fucked up I am not gonna cut it again no -uh. what yeah my hair is really bad why are you laughing don't laugh at me that's so mean my hair is really fucked up it's because I didn't take care of it and I didn't know how to take care of it for years. But you gotta get trims. I trim it myself, but I don't like... I don't want to cut cut it. Mm -mm. Why is Mac Peer pressuring me to cut my hair? Kinda rude, not gonna lie. The picture I took for my art profile pic, I think that's the best my hair has looked in a long time. Like all those lovely curls. After your first cut, it grew super fast. Mine didn't. Because I went to the salon about a year ago, right? And it's only grown two inches. Feels bad, man.
Yep, you're right. You're right, Lemon. I love the tank game. It's so much fun. It's because when you can do two-player tank mode, I was so much better at the game than my sister was, and she would get so mad whenever I'd win. I could do shadow puppets. <laughs> Wait, how do you do the duck?
Finally! Holy! Done with the initial outline. Okay. Let's see what this looks like from a distance. Whoa, the chrome looks crazy! Holy! Wowie! The green and the gold looks really nice. Wowie. Okay, let's update IG. It's been like two hours. IG be like, mod check painting? <laughs> no freebie? I was at 3.45 already. Bruh. IG's been updated. Back to work. Okay, so now that I have like the outlines done for the base shapes, now I can just fill in. So I'm gonna fill in like these intersections with a smaller brush and then go in with a larger to fill in like these outside borders. So we are about another hour into stream, so it's time for me to remind you. It is hashtag free to follow. If you're new here and you aren't following, drop a follow. It's hashtag free to follow. And if you follow, then you can type in chat and you can hang out and chat with everybody. So follow right now. Okay, back to work. No more shilling. Didn't one of you guys say you were going to get the copy pasta? Y'all really dropping the ball right now? We would love to chat with you. Yes, we would. <laughs> Added earlier, bro. Where is it, Mac? That's your one job. I pay you millions to get the copy pastas made. No, not that copy of pasta. <laughs> we can't subscribe on this channel just yet. Thank you, Mac. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, no one can subscribe yet, Sag. Hopefully soon, though. All we need is 50 followers. <laughs> Good one.
I think this is Pikmin now. I never had the chance to play a Pikmin game. Yeah, it's Pikmin. <laughs> Wasn't that Lemon's message one time? What? Where's that copy pasta from? Is it from something? Or was it just like a message Lemon sent? <laughs> Cause like it, it's like perfect for a copy pasta. Like Lemon, did you like organically type that out or did you like find it somewhere? Cause that's genuinely so good. Yeah, I know Lemon said it, but like, is it original content or did you steal it? You did it, damn, you're a genius. That should be what you guys type every single time I end stream. Should it every time I end stream, like, just in like the final, like, five minutes? Oh no. Oh no. I got black on here. Shit. You did stream that you were gonna Yeah, I know, I know, I lied. I lied, people got mad. Oh no, I can't. It's already smudged. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe I can cover it up like a little bit, like a little bit. Look! I knew this would happen. So I do this, and then... Oh, shit. It still looks like shit! Dude, it's over. It's over. I can't. It's it's GG's. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and cover it with varnish at the very end. Dude, that's upsetting. I can't. It's because this brush is splitting a little bit. I might have to swap it out. Because some of them are... Yeah, it's not going to focus on it, but some of the, like, bristles are splitting. Maybe I can cut them. Hold. Dude, that's so upsetting. Yeah, I cut the brush. You're probably not supposed to do that, but it's fine. These are cheapy Walmart brushes. No importa. <laughs> Your tuber is smug? Yeah. I like smirking. You wanna see the mistake? Y'all can't even see it on camera, it's like right here. Yeah, you can't even tell, look at it. I covered it up so well. The like is no longer in shambles. Now we can just edit it in post, right? Editors? Photoshoppers? I 
mean, you can definitely see it with the color shift, like, because there's no varnish on it, so it doesn't glint. Sad. Why can't I have nice things?
Sorry. <laughs> just the terrain of Peace I Too Hooves is really funny. Doesn't this sound like meditation music or something? How long can we keep the train of peace and two hmms going before someone ruins it? Mac, you just ruined it! You literally just ruined it. How long was that streak? It was... Two, four, or two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. It was twelve messages long. Can you beat twelve? Okay, lemon ruined it. Back to two. Can you guys get to twenty-one? Twenty-one is my favorite number. kind of cool just like this. The chevron. You guys are at nine messages. Come on. Eleven more. No, twelve more for twenty-one. Now that you have a third person, the train should be finished easier. But now we also have one more person who could jeopardize it. <gasps> oh no, who's gonna do it? Who's gonna ruin the fun? Any fun ruiners? I messed up, but you know what? It's fine. That tail was too long anyway. I placed my brush the wrong way down. Damn.
Yeah, I think you guys said 21 already. I don't know. Let's just say you're 21. Yay! But can you keep it going? Now that we have the train going, who's gonna ruin it? Who's gonna crash this train? Guys, we're at 740. There's no way. This is probably gonna be like a 9 to an hour piece. Holy. Oh, you know why this one took so long? It's because the gridding. Because remember, like, last week? Just getting, like, all the line art down took an hour. That's why it feels like this one doesn't feel like as long as it should have taken. Well, you know, it's fine, because, like, getting the pencil lines is still part of the process, so it counts. Collectors in shambles again. I think what I want to do for the first auction, whenever I'm able to start selling, unless there's like a high enough demand. And when I say high enough demand, I mean like 10 people want to buy at once. Because like, if the average painting is 250, 10 times 250 is 2500. That'd be enough to like invest time into like a website and stuff, right? Peace I too pray, you ruined it, Lemon. What you've been sneaking in peace I too pray is for the past few messages. You little rascal. Anyway, I think what I want to do is we can sell all of them, right? Or sell what people want to buy. And then maybe we can give away one random painting. Where people can like use a command to enter a giveaway. And then we'll just give away a random painting. Like, the way I'm naming my paintings, I'm just doing, naming them in order. Right? Like, one through whatever. So I don't, I don't think it's... I think it's weird naming abstract paintings, right? But this is really cool, that chevron. This kind of looks cool just with that part filled in, honestly. No one noticed? I noticed. I just didn't say anything right away. Anyway, we could give away a random one for free, and I think that'd be cool. But it'd have to be like a smaller painting, so I don't want to give away a full one. I think that's a bit much. That would be hype. What do you guys think?
I'll buy them all, Mac, you truly. I mean, it'd be like Pokemon cards. We need to, like, falsely inflate the market and make it seem like I'm a real artist, okay? And then the value will increase, and then, guys, guys, you buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. So that is true. If you buy all the paintings when they're low, you can easily sell them for high, right? Hmm. Peace I too. Hmm. <laughs> what the heck is going on? I don't know. What do you mean? We're talking about stocks. And not price gouging, of course, because that's illegal. All I'm saying is buy low, so high. <laughs> I can't. Dude, the mouth looks so funny when I laugh. <laughs> it looks so weird. Dude. Okay, I'm getting tired. I'm starting to lean on one arm. That's an indicator that I'm tired. I need to actually start speeding up. Guys, we're speedrunning. We're speedrunning. Any collectors? Or maybe I could give away, like, a custom portrait. Because I've been working on concepting out, like, an abstract style for portraits. Because I kind I messed up that line. I kind of want it to look like stained glass, almost. So I've been, like, working on that style a little bit. Like, just sketching and stuff. Maybe we could give away a custom portrait. I think that'd be cool. No, no, what we gotta do? Like, you know those posts that companies make where, like, if you want to enter the giveaway, follow, like, and retweet. I need to do one of those. <laughs> I think those are so cringe. Because it's like, do you genuinely think you're gonna win out of all the 10,000 people that retweeted the free laptop giveaway? Crazy. I wonder how they pick someone. Do they just like... I, I... Like genuinely, how do they pick somebody? Like there's gotta be some type of like AI that analyzes who does all three, right? Or do they just look at the most recent retweet and then they give it to them? How do they do it? I'm the AI? Dude, then you... Why are you rigging it against us then? And how haven't you won every single laptop that companies have given away? Huh? And why haven't you given me any of the laptops that you've won? Don't need it? I need it! Well, if you buy it, you can always, like, resell it. That can be your side gig. Rigging AIs so that you win technology and just resell it. Easy. <laughs> yeah. If I have two laptops already, I can sell the third one that I won. And then I wouldn't have $20 in my bank account. I'd have 320 Easy. <laughs> Titans isn't a real fan, yeah. If you don't give me your laptops, you're a fake fan. I mean, honestly... Honestly, anybody who watches the art streams is a real fan. Cause you know we just chillin'. I 
I mean, I think most of my active chatters from the main channel have followed this channel, so. And a few lurkers as well. Wowee. Or what I should do, instead of doing an actual giveaway, I should do a giveaway to where you have to make art for me and then I make content off of that. That way I exploit you guys for free labor. How does that sound? Give all the pizza too much? It must be knockoff because I don't have any merch. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, I fucking hate the fan contests that are like that where it's like, oh my god. I want my community to design my merch, so I want all of the artists in my community to make me free shit. I hate when they do that. I would be able to do that, true, but it's exploitative. I'm gonna make a drawing right now, tweet it at me. If it's good enough, I'll retweet it. If not, I'll ban you. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. Just ban me now, mods, ban Titans. Right, we need to like keyword search how many times Titans has to ban me. I mean, we can look through that when we do the uh, night, not your nice chatter stream. I okay. I'm gonna leak right now. Titans is a bad chatter, very bad chatter. But they haven't crossed any lines, so they're fine. I never saw that coming, Copium. If you think you're a good chatter, you're literally delusional. I myself am a bad chatter. I'll admit it. Titan stole my channel points one time. <laughs> I'm gonna piece I do tweet. Are you gonna start drama? Are you gonna start small streamer drama? Me with no clout? You're gonna attack me? POC LGBTQ disabled streamer? Kind of a bad move, IMO. <laughs> Two people with no clout. I didn't say it, you did. <laughs> Lamau. I mean, small streamer drama is so cringe. Like, it's just like a lot of petty shit. Or it's a lot of time people minimizing actual, like, abuse or harassment seen in the community, and it's just sad. It's because people, like, get all huffy and puffy about the petty shit that nobody cares about, like, the actual borderline crime shit. Like, harassment or grooming seen in servers. It's disgusting. That's why I don't keep up with any of it. Or when people defend possible harassers or groomers just because they want like a little crumb of clout. And just like, bruh.
So I'd be careful with who you interact with online, guys. Don't be joining servers. You never know who's in them. Are you done with the painting yet? No. I keep telling y'all, the timer's still on. Painting ain't done yet. I thought this was Alvin and the Chipmunks for a second. <laughs> Kinda sounds like Theodore. Dude, the animation was actually insane for Alvin and the Chipmunks. Looks so nice. I know it's simple, but the chevron is really nice to look at. What do you guys think of the PNG tuber model though? Like, do you guys miss the face cam? Be honest. Because I definitely feel more comfortable in like the setup I have today. Like, I'm not squished in the corner of my room. Like, I actually have space to like move around and stuff. It's cool, cool. Yeah, I feel like. PNG tuber models only really work if you already know the personality. Like, it's like I said, it's mainly for my comfort on camera. Cause like, <laughs> <laughs> I almost like bit my nails earlier. I I know I, I've bit my nails on the main channel before, but I just feel like I'm not too concerned about like what other people are like thinking of me right now. And it, it's like nicer. Like, it's like one less stressor. Because when I had the face cam on, it just wasn't relaxing. And like, another thing 
with the setup I have, I have to like physically move my head to look at chat and I felt so self-conscious um, knowing I was on camera and physically looking at chat and seeing nobody had typed anything new and I felt so like DOM. I was like, I know chat isn't fast for art stream, but it still felt cringe. Like having to move my head. Because all I can think about, if you guys have seen it, it's like the Ludwig clip and he talks about like his most embarrassing moment on stream. And it was basically when he was averaging like 10 viewers, I think he said. And he had like a dual monitor set up and he had to like turn his head to look at chat. And he kept on turning his head, right? And, um, he said, like, he hadn't gotten a message for, like, two or three minutes, but he kept turning his head, right? And then he turned to look at chat, and somebody had typed in his chat something along the lines of, it was like, dude, you don't have a lot of people watching, and you keep looking at chat. It's so cringe that you keep looking with no new messages. And it's just like, bro, the audacity of the guy to call him out, it's like, come on. But yeah. It just feels weird. That's why, like, with my main setup, like, I don't have to turn my head because that's, like, a subtle, I guess, fear that I have. Because, like, you guys know the rule is dead chat equals... Ah! I dropped my pen, dropped my brush on my bed, on my... I got paint on my floor. And me... In Minecraft. I have a new thing to be scared of now? Yeah, dude. Streaming to zero viewers is ass. Or, like, just streaming with the dead chat, too. That's why, like, we love the lurkers, but you still need to make your content in a way that encourages people to chat. That's why, like, I tell you guys to spam. That way it gives me the illusion that chat is busy when it's not necessarily as busy as it could be. You're not cringe yet? Keep doing I am cringe. Type one if I'm cringe. <laughs> okay, I gotta put some more music on because the, the playlist is over now. I kind of want to listen to Eastward. Mac, you're lying. You say I'm cringe all the time. Oh, my dad is chopping wood. Dude, that was fucking loud. Ooh. Let's see. I kind of want more Wii music. There we go. Yeah, it was just cringe. And I don't like being cringe. Why is he always chopping wood? He's crazy. Well, because, like, the wood comes pre-chopped, but the pieces he buys are too big to fit in the stove, so he has to chop them smaller. And I told him I'd be streaming today. Sag. Yeah, it's We Fit. I love We Fit. What is he doing? Anyway, I'm glad I, I really like the setup we have for now. Like, I know my PNG model is fairly simplistic. Maybe I'll work on adding more, like, animatic type stuff. But I- Dude, no way is he fucking chopping right now. Wait, look. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna mute for a little bit. I'm still here. The software is still picking up the sound. It's good that you see the Titans can hear it. No, you can hear it. I know you can hear it. I know you can hear it. <laughs> it 
it's frustrating because it's like it's not loud it it's rattling the whole fucking house I can't you're deaf the closed caption on so the closed captions will say chopping wood or loud thumping sound it's chilling yet it is scary it's scary I'll tell them that he's scaring my viewers but then he'll be like I don't care you're not making money anyway and I'll be like you're right Lomo. The <laughs> closed captions are on. <laughs> Lomo. Yeah, they, they did change the payout threshold, but I still want the wire transfer, so I still need to hit the 100 minimum. Which I typically am on track for. I mean, November is low, but that's because I've been streaming less hours. I mean, you stream less the less potential subs you can earn. And I assume most people are saving for holidays anyway. Dude, Twitch to do September, but for Black Friday. That'd go crazy. Oh, you checked your stream recording? It was good? Very good, Mac. Very good. You're close to your pale? Hey, yo. You know what's really sweet? I gifted Titans a sub in their chat the other day, and then Titans, the Titans, gifted me a tier one to their chat. Very nice, very kind. I would drop subs like crazy, Sag. Dude, why, why, why? I'm losing my mind. Gifting subs right now, not quick, but you guys are trolling. Can we get an offline hype train? Guys, can we do it? Dude, there was one time, uh, uh, Rainy, she was, like, singing a song in her Discord, and then her Discord, uh, chatters, you could say, got her, like, a level 5 offline hype train. It was crazy. Dude, I can't, I can't. Should I, should I go say something or no? Oh, you can only do it on desktop? Oh, because... Oh, yeah, because if you gift on desktop, then you can check a box to, like, gift to a specific viewer, right? Because, like, I'll be in sometimes streams and people will give, like, gifted subs to, like, celebrities and stuff. Or I'll be like, so-and-so gifted a tier 3 to Pokimane. Oh, okay. Got it. I mean, gifting on desktop is cheaper anyway, because the freaking service fees on mobile are ass. Should I give the sub to Pokemon? That'd go crazy. <laughs> uh, can somebody give the sub to Hassan? Please. I'm a simp. I'm a wholesome simp, though. Guys, come on. She would use my. Dude, imagine. Dude, that'd go crazy. Dude, I'd be honored. I mean, a lot of... I think, like... <laughs> Clip saved and prep for when she comes in the chat. Dude, that'd be insane. Uh, anyway. I think, like, most of Pokemon's emotes are screenshot ones, and then the other half are, like, illustrated, which I think is a good combo. Who wouldn't want to use the emotes? I don't know. I think people who are uncultured and cringe... for face cam to game it depends on if you're going to post to offline content like um uh i can't show the scene but you know how when i play eastward you just have to the way i have the camera placed along with my alerts i have it framed in a way where it's a bit smaller but when i crop it for vertical video the camera doesn't overlap with the gameplay in the center. 
so, but if you're working, like, if you're not gonna repost for vertical video, then it can be however big you want it to be. Honestly, having a bigger face cam is good. And a tip you'll see is, like, have the actual face cam be as close to your actual face as it can be. Like, you know how Jeremy's face cam, it's, it's literally, like, super zoomed in on his face, and so you can see, like, every, like, facial reaction or, like, how his face changes when he reacts. Also, Extra Emily does that as well, where it's super zoomed in on their face. Like, they don't necessarily focus on their room environments, they focus on the actual reaction. I mean, Mac, just try out different sizes and see how... Because you also have to think about um, um, how it looks like on mobile, because you also have to take into consideration uh, mobile, the screen is very small. Like, some people may watch mobile when it's on, like... Um, like landscape, but a lot of people watch portrait, especially if they're chatters. That's why I think my main appeal to my stream is the auditory. Like, I feel like a lot of people listen. Even though my ratio of active chatters to viewer count is really high, it's usually like 75% of viewers are chatting. Um, I feel like a lot of people listen. Okay, I need to get a bigger brush so I can fill in the background. Dude, this looks cool. Just one coat, pretty solid. It looks kind of nice just like this. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Actually? Oh, but I already have pencil in the background. Damn. Cause like... No, I have to fill in the whole background. Cause like, imagine... I just did like a really thick black border and then I kept the background white. I think that would look cool too. Watching me lose to Kobo was crazy. 14 throws crazy. <laughs> yeah, get fucked, man. You're the one who gave up the easy VIP. SMH. Hey, no brush. I mean, I do think winning a Mario Kart tournament is, yeah, a real VIP. I agree. I agree. Okay, now we're gonna fill in the background. Dude, my hair is so poofy. Uh, Mac, if I get a hundred gifted, <laughs> then I'll throw the tournament next month or this month. Peace out, to shake. <laughs> Dude, 100 gifted? That's $500. I think people don't realize how much that actually is. That's crazy. Like, I could never imagine myself. Because, like, people will drop 100 gifted in, like, Kai's or Hassan's chat all the time, and it's insane. I'm just like, how do these people have so much money to, like, give away, basically? Like, okay, if I had the money, I'd be doing shit like that, too. You know, like, just to get that attention in the chat? That, that's a lot. Like, holy. the sides of the canvas I usually do because I hate when you look at it from the side and you can see like that white outline I think it looks better that way too because I was watching a few videos of like the paint pour ones and like they scrape the paint off the sides I mean it kind of makes sense because like when you do paint pours the layer of paint is really thick 
And I, I, I assume that probably messes when you messes up when you frame. But for like something like this that's thin, I think it makes sense to paint the sides. I mean, I'm no pro. I'm in art school, but I'm not in painting school. Dude, imagine going to college for painting. Okay, I'm not saying that's a waste of a degree, but... I've just spent 60k in a painting degree. Like, honestly. Once I graduate, like, I'd have a bachelor's, right? But in order to be a substitute teacher in our district, you don't, you just need to have an AA of any kind. So, she was like, oh, you can become a sub. But it's like, I don't want to do that shit. Dealing with, like, grubby little kids all day? No, no. Or, like, entitled middle schoolers and high schoolers? Ew. Icky. BRB? Okay. Eat quick, you don't want to miss it when I'm done. In like two hours. Ah, I think I'll get this done like an hour and a half max. That metallic, it looks so nice on camera. I can't, dude. I really like this hollow theme I'm going with. Like, I know it can be kind of tacky, you know, sparkles are tacky, but it looks so nice. Y'all don't even know.
like this texture. See right here in the corner? Of like the grain of the canvas. But I know it looks unprofessional, so I have to not do that grungy type look. It looks like screen tones almost. Like you know how you see in comics or manga. But I don't think texture would look good with more abstract work. Especially for something like this where you want the line work to be clean and the solid fills. I want to do like landscape work, but I feel like that's so basic. Like anybody can do realism. But I think in order to do abstract or modern, you have to have really good design sense. Like I'm still- I- I've been told in middle school and high school and college that I have really good design sense, like... I'm very much like simple over everything, but you still have to work with intent with your designs. I think when you work simple and abstract, you have to very heavily rely on alignment. And how things look cohesively as a whole. Sorry, I have the brush in my mouth, I just realized. So I'm just, I'm Marin, I'm Marin. I think the only downfall to abstract work is that they usually don't have like a lot of sentiment behind it. It's definitely about like the aesthetics. Cause I feel like a lot of artists are very like, uh, what's a nice way of saying it? Like they seem to make everything out of nothing. But I like abstract a lot because it just has to look aesthetically nice. Like it shows that you have actual skill in terms of composition. Composition meaning your work as a whole. And how the elements and key parts come together. Like I'm not saying I'm a pro, mind you, but... I'm definitely better than somebody who doesn't think out their work before they start it. I think the worst form of art, in my opinion, is collage. Because in order to be good at collage, you have to be good at composition and alignment and seeing how everything comes together. Like, you know how, like, the cliche middle-aged wife will get into scrapbooking and collaging? It's very entry-level, in my opinion, because I feel like anybody can do it, but not many can make it look good. Because back when I was doing ATCs, or artist trading cards, a majority of the mediums were collage. And a lot of them look like ass. But you can't really be mean to them, because they're like... 40 year old woman who have nothing to do at home and they found a new hobby, you know? Because even though collage seems to be just putting like paper and stickers together, you still have to have an understanding of like color theory, alignment, in order to make your seemingly randomly put together composition look intentional. Like, I kind of want to dabble with collage, like, there was a lot of projects in, like, high It's fine, I didn't overshoot that line too much, it's fine. Guys, collectors in shambles. Mod check, collectors, hope you're not here. Okay, we're good, we're saved. I had to clean up that line in the circle. See, you can't even tell. Perfect. Uh, anyway. Like, you know how... I feel like everybody had to do a project where you had to, like, make a collage out of pictures you found in magazines. I kind of want to do something like that. I 
I think doing like 2D mosaics, but with paint would be kind of interesting. <laughs> one, wait, what did I ask? <laughs> what did I ask you guys to type one for? I forgot. I forgot. Oh. Um, but I think doing like 2D painted mosaics would be kind of cool. Of like natural elements. So like animals are floral. Because, like, just the idea of something natural combined with, like, more rigid and straight um, rendering methods, I think, would look really cool. Kind of like, okay, I'm not going to do the polygon aesthetic. I feel like every basic-ass bitch does that. But something along that lines of, like, the contrasting themes with the actual element. Like I said earlier, a lot of the work I do is things that I find aesthetically pleasing to look at. And it doesn't have much, like, sentiment behind it. I think because if I made a piece that had, like, actual stories or meaning behind it, I wouldn't want to get rid of it. I'd want to keep it. So, like, I think those would be types of pieces where I would keep them to myself. Like, I wouldn't post them. Because, like, art is a piece of yourself. Like, it's a... Usually make them in phases of your lives, like phases at your skill level. And then also like you spend so much time on it. Like how some people will spend like hours, weeks, or months working on a piece that's a part of their life they're giving away. That's why like my goal for these abstract pieces, I don't want to spend more than 12 hours on one. I mean this one is probably gonna be 10 hours max. I mean, if I had higher quality paints, then I could easily do this in, like, one coat. But I don't have that kind of money yet. I've thought about using, like, painter's paint. Like, you know, uh, like, the paint you use to, like, paint your walls. I think that'd be kind of interesting to play around with. Because I feel like those would be really opaque. I wonder how thick they are. Oh yeah, the last time I painted a room was last year, because I painted this room white. Were you trolling, Lemon? Were you trolling? I'm back, hi Mac. Dude, you ate fast! I was jokingly gonna say, like, dude, eat quick, you can't miss a single second. You're almost done? No, I have to do two coats. Because the black, you can see... See, I can see some streaks here, it's not fully opaque. So I have to do two coats. Saggy. So we got another hour, probably. Dude, I'm gonna get this done in eight hours, Lamau. Kick W. You only have one plate? Oh, uh, what'd you have? How would you guys feel if I did a meal prep stream every week? Like on Sunday or something? Because I have to prep everybody's lunches for the week. What if I did a meal prep stream? Like in the kitchen? Would you guys like that? Then I could give like mommy vibes or something. Hello, <laughs> Ooh, fettuccine alfredo, bro. That sounds so good. Type one if um, meal prep mommy streams. Oh no. Never mind. Why'd I say that? Fuck. I was trolling. I was trolling. Dude, should we make that the title? <laughs> Guys, should I do it? Should we lean into the shtick? Nah, I don't want to be sexualized. Nah. But then I didn't have to wear mom jeans. Oh, but genuinely, would you guys watch a meal prep stream? Meal prep. Because it's honestly probably going to take me hours. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, you guys did say you wanted cooking streams, but you didn't say what type. Oh, dude, 
Dude, that looks so cool. I will watch anything. True. Mac is a simp. Type 1 if you think Mac is a simp. <laughs> Coke skin. <laughs> love it. I love that. <laughs> Why are you tisking? You know it's true, Mac. You know it's true. Mac, you have notifications turned on for Twitter. I know you do. Because you like and reply to the tweets instantly, you fucking zip. Dude, this, this looks crazy. This looks crazy. Dude, this looks insane. Sorry, I, I need to, like, look at it. Even Cokes came out of lurking. <laughs> good one, good one. Stop embarrassing me. Can we, like, look at this? Holy... Wait, can I zoom out? Wait, let's look at it this way. Holy moly. Can I just start sipping at the boat? Yeah, Pokemon go to the polls. What do you guys think? Dude. The color shift is perfect on this one. Wowie. The, the white in the center is- it pulls your eyes to the center. It almost looks like eyes. I think this piece would've gone crazy. If- maybe I could still do it if I did like an eye shape. So whack painting in a good way? What? What do you mean by that, huh? Huh? Okay, it's not perfectly symmetrical, because see how the arches on this side are slightly thicker and wider? Like, these are more pointed, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. I think it looks cool, though. Damn. So I'm just barring. I'm barring. Yeah, because see, you can see how the light is shining here. So this is what it looks like in the hollow. And then neutral, just so you guys can see it a bit better. And then here, reflecting light in the neutral. So you can see it basically looks matte when there's no light, but when there's light reflecting, it's super reflective. Wowie. It does look a lot better with yellow light, I will tell you. Dude, if... This would look crazy outside, like with the sunlight. All the reflections? Holy. Okay, um. Let's update IG. And then we'll start on coat 2. What do you guys think? Whack. It's not whack. I think this design. <coughs> I think this design isn't as strong as my others, but I think the color shift looks perfect. Like legitimately perfect. I almost think the white in the center is too much, but I'm still really happy with it. No free feet? <laughs> no free feet? Holy... Wowie... Dude, it's 5 o'clock. <laughs> Would I get banned for feet cam? Cause like, I know you're allowed to show feet, but I don't know if you can show like just a feet POV. I don't wanna test it.
Avatar beat him. What? <laughs> I just draw the PNG tuber with feet and every like 31 minutes, not every 30, every 31 minutes it quickly cuts to the feet cam and then disappears. That way you guys have to watch the whole stream in order to catch the feet cam. Is that a good idea? I mean, cause like the initial PNG tuber model I had before I had the software, it was just a export of video of the avatar changing expressions every minute because I made versions to where like it's happy it's mad or it's science so but it seemed like less uh what you call it less interactive because like the mouth didn't move it was just like static images because it was an export of video not like a live capture software make it happen at random times to room gotta keep you on your toes right okay time for code two I just realized when I covered up this, I used the wrong shade of orange. That can be a channel production? True. True. I was thinking about that. Because I was going to be like the backup. If I did find a software in time like I did today, thankfully, then we'll just do channel for redemptions to change the, change the expression. The good suggestion? But I came up with the idea first, so try again. Okay, we're going over to code 2. I have to generally focus because usually when I do second coats is when I get careless. So nobody distract me. Great minds think alike. Exactly. Any distractors? Never chats again because he got burned so hard. Or is that really a burn? Not really a burn, I guess. Cokes, they're self reporting. Wait, I just realized for the naughty or nice stream, we're only looking at logs from the main channel. So that means y'all can be as sus as you want here. Damn it. Don't act up. what would go crazy what if instead of me determining if a chatter is naughty or nice we have chat vote oh no oh no yeah you'll game up on serpent people exactly that could be a problem, but that would add to the content. Hmm. But then the only problem is my channel isn't big enough to where we'll have guaranteed voters. And it's kind of cringe if you run a prediction or a poll and nobody participates. Not gonna lie. I love democracy. <laughs> I'll think about it. Or maybe we'll just do polls for chatters I'm indecisive about. Instead of doing it for everyone. Cause like when you run too many polls or predictions, everybody gets tired of it. 
Because, like, you know how for, like, Mario Kart streams, usually people, like, pop off for, like, the first hour? But then people usually stop doing the predictions once we're at hour two. It's kind of like that. It's not as, like, novelty or as exciting after an hour, you know? I think we'll do that. I wish we could have polls and channel points for non-affiliate channels. That'd be great. Because, like, since these art streams are longer, so you guys would get, like, so many freaking channel points. Y'all would be rich. We should sign a petition for Twitch. Be like, hey. Hey, yo, Twitch stand. Give us channel points. The terms are give us channel points and we never complain about ads ever again. Easy. Do you think they'll take that deal? I mean, I don't know why channel points is like an exclusive perk for affiliates. Like, I don't get why. Is this from Teray or no? This is still a Wii Fit. I don't have any Terraria music. But you know what I do have? A reminder to tell chatters to follow, I mean chatters, I mean non-followers who are lurking, because if you hashtag free to follow, you get to type in chat and your name shows up on screen. Wowie! Guys, we're so close to affiliate, all we need is 10 followers. Easy clap. And then you guys can get channel points. And cool sub emotes. Also, in order for a channel to have follower emotes, you have to be an affiliate for like 90 days. Sad. Or no, you have to stream on 60 days. That's why it took me like six months to get follower emotes on the main channel. Sad. Or you have to do 60 streams as an affiliate is what I meant to say. I think it is. And then that's when you also get instant email approval. To where you don't have to have somebody manually review your email. So if you guys want emotes and follower emotes, we need to have affiliates. BRB? Okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Dude, oh no, 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 no. I have a spec. Oh no. Oh no. Guys, I'm gonna scream. Fuck. It's hard. 
hard because, like, I can't really easily access it. Oh, dude, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. It's over. Dude, it's, it's in the groove. Because, like, the size of the spec is exactly the size of the canvas groovings. Oh, God damn it. Okay, we're gonna have to cover it up and then we're gonna have to varnish at the end again. God damn. I'm really mad. You can't tell I'm really mad. I'm gonna go home and cry dad as he's chopping wood. I need to figure out which orange I used. Did I put the wrong shade down? Yes, this regular orange. Dude, my hair is so big. <clears throat> there you go, can't even tell. It's like nothing happened. Collectors no longer in shambles. Making nails is so fun. Are you doing a pattern or just like a solid color? I want to like learn how to do nail art, but it's kind of not worth my time. Like, you know those little like print things? Where it looks like a, a clear pressy thing, and then they stamp the pattern in, and then you press your nail in. I want one of those. Dude, I want to get my nails done. When I get my first million dollar paycheck, I'm gonna get my nails done. Then we can do a salon stream. It's our song. Yeah, I was gonna say Sag Lemon isn't here. <laughs> they always miss the song, huh? Oh my god. I almost fucked up. Holy, Max going crazy.
But I got another spec. I can't with these specs. They're making everything a wreck. Usually the specs happen when you have too much paint on your brush. And then when you're traveling it across your canvas, it just drips off. So I just have to make sure I don't put too much on. Thought you said something else? Oh. I didn't say anything. anything sus? Gotta be me. Also, if I, if I say sus things or things that sound like bad words, don't let me say it, okay? Just don't. <laughs> I'm what you could say, I'm clueless. <clears throat> like when chatters clipped me saying D-I-G-G-E-R, those are bad chatters. Now don't clip me saying sus things. Like it, it's kind of funny. It may be funny. But not funny when people will take it out of context. That's why, like, I'm generally so scared of, like, <clears throat> like, deepfakes. Or, like, when you can upload your voice and create, like, an AI version of your own voice. I think it's so creepy. Like, in the wrong hands, you could, like, make the AI say some really bad things. Or, like, I isn't it illegal to make, like, deepfakes of political figures? I think that's illegal. Because, you know, you don't want deep fakes of prominent political figures calling war or something. That'd be very bad.
How long should I wait for my polish to dry? I'd say probably an hour. Just to be safe. Like, especially if you do multiple coats, probably an hour to be safe. Minimum 30 minutes. I mean, it depends on what brand you're using. Because, like, even if it's, like, not tacky, if you, like, for example, pick up a towel and, like, press your finger into it, it'll still leave an imprint. I'm gonna put the top coat on. Oh. Then only probably, like, max 15 minutes, then. Like, as long as, like, you touch your nail and it doesn't, like, leave a, leave a fingerprint. <laughs> I mean, you can only really tell that once you touch it, so I'd say just let it, let it sit for probably 15. Wait, do you never paint your nails, Mac, huh? You should know this shit. I paint my nails yellow. I like to think it's more gold. Oh, because you usually, like, get your nails done, huh? see then. So then you're clueless when it comes to painting your own nails. We're at 4.30 uptime. Should I take a union break? Or should I keep pushing through? I mean, maybe it's not even me painting. Maybe if we, I have somebody else painting for me, but I'm doing the voiceover, you know? What if I'm scanning? Hmm... Dude, when I dropped my brush earlier, I dropped it on my actual mattress. Thank God I didn't put my sheets on. Because I did laundry today. I would have been really sad if I got black paint on my patterned sheets. That would have been really bad. Your sister. <laughs> nah, she's at work. And I feel bad because, like, she's working overtime. Because, like... She works at a packaging place, and they're obviously busy for holiday, right? Because everybody wants their little goodies for Christmas. So they have, like, mandatory overtime, and then she's taking optional overtime to, like, get some more money for the move, so... Shoutouts to her. How many subs should we do to get a sister face reveal? <laughs> I, I just say sub goal and then we hit it, but, I, but then I don't tell her. And then in YouTuber prank style, I whip the cam around and then I expose her face to everybody and then I ruin her trust forever. How many subs do you think that is worth? Let her name it. Name what? Wait, what did I say? Did I say something? Oh, the sub count? At least five. <laughs> Dude, I think five is far from enough. <laughs> five subs to ruin the privacy of my sister forever. Any gifters? Did she kill me in Minecraft? Now, my only concern with ever doing kitchen streams is I don't want to like leak my roommates' faces and stuff. 
Or like their voices too. Because I know my sister says she doesn't want her voice online. And I can respect that, but I uh, I'd have to be careful because like what if they accidentally walk into the kitchen to get some water and then BAM they're on stream? I mean, it's probably fairly obvious if I have like a laptop and a camera in the kitchen, huh? But they're kinda silly. I just realized my camera rotated. Uh oh. Oh no. What? Uh oh. Oh better. Yeah, so I have to like be careful. I mean, cause like if I stream out of my room, they can then I can have like a do not disturb sign like they have in the hotels, right? But in the kitchen, that's a common space. Now that I think about it, none of my roommates are like active on social media. Like they don't have any like public social media. Like <laughs> I think they just have like meme accounts. Like not that they post memes, but they just use it to look at memes. Hey, Mac, if you're gonna stream, you're gonna have to wipe your Twitter, you know? Because I don't think that's very brand-friendly, some of the posts you have. <laughs> no deal? No, it's not a deal. I'm just saying, if you want to stream, you'd have to, like, wipe your Twitter. Or make a new one. Because some of the stuff you retweet is kind of sus, my guy. What's that down on it? <laughs> <Too f> <laughs> okay, there was one that had a wand in it. And I was like, whoa, dude. Whoa. That's just a part of the charm. Bro. <laughs> you don't get it. <laughs> I don't think Ritz Crackers is going to want some want to sponsor somebody who has a wand post on their timeline. 13 plus chat, 13 plus chat. <laughs> Coax gets it. Well, Coax, are you a multi-million dollar company? No, so shut up. <laughs> you don't get it. I know what the companies want. <laughs> I I have two laptops, so I am a multi-millionaire, okay? I know what gets big corp- <laughs> Yes, I do love Harry Potter. Exactly. Yes, we heckin' love Harry Potter. <laughs> Ay, Dio mio. That's why I don't retweet shit. The only stuff I- I think I've only retweeted, like, video game pixel art, because I like it. Otherwise, I don't retweet stuff typically. Because I think, like, retweets kind of muddy up your profile. That's why I like, um... Like how Instagram has highlights and stories. That way I don't have to clutter up my main feed with, like, throwaway posts. Or, like, temporary posts. I like it a lot. I think the UI for Instagram is the best for, like, visual media. But it's not the best for, like, community building. That's why I don't, like, post on it a lot. I know I said, like, once I got the new phone, I'd post more pictures on IG, but I just don't... I don't feel comfy yet. Hmm. 
Yeah, Mac, you should either, like, private that account before you start streaming, or just, like, change that user and make it, like, a branded account. You didn't scare me, Lemon. Nice try. But welcome back, hun. You'll never get me. Okay, the only thing that would scare me in a Twitch chat is when if you guys, like, randomly slid a slur. I'd be like, whoa! That caught me by surprise. <laughs> I'd be like, whoa, that's kinda scary. I'd be like, holy. You showed me your true colors there, dude. But none of you guys would do that, right? But I love my retweets. Just, it, okay. Just because you think it's okay doesn't mean big corpas will think it's okay. And what if you want to, like, become a brand, you have to think about what corpa thinks. I have seen their retweets. No. No. Guys, don't check out Max Twitter. I don't even know Max at because their at is different than their Twitch username. Good. So it's kind of harder to find. Thank God. Oh, also, if you're, anybody's, like, trying to create a brand, try to have the same username on all platforms. Like, please try your best. Like, I fucking hate it when people have, like, different users on every single goddamn platform. It makes it impossible to find them anywhere. It's D-U-M. Like, just come up with a username that is not seen anywhere else. Easy. I don't know how to read though. Sag lemon. Just L after L today, huh? Yeah, but my main point is like, even if the username is similar, if it's not similar enough, then how are people gonna find it? Mac, are you legitimately gonna start streaming? If so, I don't endorse you because of that one wand post. I think it was it crossed a line. <laughs> oh, dude, I thought the hand was my head. I got scared. I was like, I can't face reveal just yet. Are you serious? I mean, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I have to think about it. You would have to talk to my manager. I have everything on my page. Okay, I didn't scroll down far. Is there worse shit? Uh-oh. Holy, we're... Holy. We're nearly at five hours, guys. We're nearing the end. We probably have, like, 30, 40 minutes left. I had to check the piece in followers list. Oh no. Oh no. Lemon is actually social media stalking Mac right now. I didn't scroll very far. 
Are you saying that I don't have a lot of followers, Lemon? That's kind of mean. That's kind of rude, not gonna lie. You know, I tell you guys to follow my Twitter, and then some of you guys do, but most of you guys don't. What is nice is that I have a lot of my lurkers, like chatters who, who like chatted a few times, actually follow my Twitter. That's really nice. Wowie. Yeah, Mac, you retweet weird things, so that's why it's concerning. I mean, it's fine. Because it's your profile, but not everybody is as, let's say, body positive. You know, you can't be liking P-O-R-N on main, my guy. Not saying that you do, but... <laughs> Remember when Tom Cruise liked P.O.R.N. on 9-11? <laughs> he actually did. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm trolling back. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Now you're self-reporting. Now you're self-reporting that you look at it. S M H. See, I got you in my trap. Easy clap. That's how you do it, guys. Learn from the best, which is me. See, that's why you have a separate account, you goof. To look at memes, of course. You know what's funny? What are we seeing, chat? Your mom. I mean, I'm seeing your mom every night for the past year. Anyway. Uh, you know how everybody left Tumblr once they took away nudity? And now that Twitter's dying, everybody's like going back to Tumblr? Kind of wild, huh? Full circle. I don't think it was screwing my perception of women for way too long. Lamo. That's why I don't consume said media. Uh, let's change the topic before I overshare. Anyway. Thirteen plus stream, thirteen plus stream. Twitch staff, we're talking about media. We're talking about pictures of flowers. <laughs> Anyway, how's the painting looking? Very nice, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think social media is just bad for everybody. I'll say it. It's kind of like a necessary evil at this point. Because, like, if you aren't on social media, then I feel like you can't really keep up with, like, current events. And also, like, the people you want to, like, be informed about in your life. But also, there's so many, like, negative people online. It's kind of a lot. like I've never been the type to be like self-conscious when comparing like my body or how I look to other people but I just like seeing all the negativity is a lot sometimes like for me it's sad to think that some people are like so mean or like unempathetic or so cold-hearted like even if you're like arguing for something you believe in you don't have to take like low blows Oh fuck, 
I missed a deadline. Okay, saved. <clears throat> okay, we're halfway through this middle section. Can you guys see the difference between two coats and one? Can't really. Yeah, you can't really in this lighting. You can? No way, you're trolling. You're trolling. I'm glad you can see it. Well, I mean, that's because Mac is a future collector. They said they're going to buy literally all my paintings, so. Okay, is anybody seriously going to buy a painting? Type 1. And if you want to buy one but can't afford it, type 2. And if you hate me, uh, type 3. <laughs> Fear hate watcher, type 3. <laughs> If you type three, you get banned. <laughs> Hashtag joking, not joking. Yeah, we don't have a seat. No secrets in this chat. I'm very, I'm very transparent on this channel. No secrets. Ask me anything except this, this, and this. Oh, I just realized, since I messed up, I have to put more varnish on, huh? So even after we get the second coat of black, then it's not done. Great. I hate this. Why can't I work cleaner? And I said, this was the piece that I have to do perfect on. I mean, you can't expect perfection, because that's psychotic. And not healthy. It's never done. And artist work is never done. You know, we work 24-7. 365 for your entertainment and amusement. And all you do is laugh and spit in our faces and say AI art is just as good as normal art. What are you guys' thought on AI art? You guys think it's legitimate or trash? Like, do you think AI art has potential? It's cool but not legit, okay. It's cool, okay. Would you buy an AI generated print? over someone who traditionally painted something or made a print. I think it would depend on the image, right? But if the images were similar enough, would you buy the physically made one? Or like a person who made it, or would you buy the AI generated print? No, okay. Coax is a real one, AO. I would just make my own giga chat. Dude, lemon's a giga chat, guys. Uh, <laughs> Mac hasn't answered? Oh, wait, Mac said no. Okay. I think AI art isn't good. Because the way that AI art is made, it makes images based off of already existing art. Because that's how AIs work. It learns from what's already existing. That's why AI... There's a spec. That's why AI art, AI art is the most like negatively impactful in terms of creative ability. Cause like there's been so many cases where people's art has been ripped and essentially copied but slightly altered by AI. <clears throat> and I think it's bad. I think it's cool how AI art is nearly not distinguishable from traditional or someone who physically made a piece but i think it's not good because it alters people's perception on what a person can be capable of and it kind of minimizes the actual work time and effort and skill that a person has developed to make said art so i don't support ai art 
I think the only time AR AIR should be used is if it's used to like generate backgrounds for like a larger piece or a game. I think that's the only time it makes sense. Cause you're not because I think using AI for like a part of the composition is fine. Cause that is still like a tool you can use, but you should not use the tool for the whole piece. Yeah, I agree. Like, using it, yeah, exactly. Like, for a texture in a game, I think that's perfectly fine. Because in that case, it's used as a tool. And, like, that's using a part. Like, a texture is a specific part of a composition. It's not necessarily copying and altering a whole finalized piece of work. Because I've seen some softwares that are, like, generate like a 2d city background and people use it for like manga and stuff or like web comics i think that's totally fine because that's something minimal that's not like the focal piece of the composition i think ai art could be used for like um prototyping or like concepting out ideas and how you want to place things. I think that is a possible avenue it can be used. But I don't think it should be sold and marketed as a substitute for finalized composed work or composed work. How long do you think they'll leave? Do you mean like the software available to the public? I think that the government has access to said technologies but models? Wait, what? I explain further. I'm trying to understand what you mean. Anyway, what I was trying to say is that, like, I think most every technology is available by the government before it's accessible by the public, like smartphones and that type of thing. And, like, um, oh, like statues. So I'm thinking. How long do you think statues will be available to the public? Okay, I'm still confused. I'm still- I'm still confused. Did I eat lunch? I ate, I ate food at 11, so I ate today. I forgot. I forgot to eat dinner last night. It was bad. Cause like, I skipped breakfast yesterday because I woke up late and then my sister ordered in food and then that didn't get here till like noon and then I didn't eat the rest of the day. Cause like, I was working on homework from like 12 to 6 p.m. and then it got to 6 p.m. and I usually don't eat past like 6 or 7 cause like I'm not intermediate fasting but I try not to like eat too late. Oh, okay. Thank you, Lemon. Thank you, Lemon. I think I, I think I get what you're saying now. <laughs> anyway, so I didn't eat dinner last night, and then I didn't eat breakfast today because I had my appointment at 8.30. And then... And then I exercised. And then I ate at, like, noon because I had to do dishes and stuff. Because, like, I'm weird. I have to, like, do my tasks first before I eat breakfast because, like, I get bitched at if there's shit in the kitchen before I eat. So I have to make sure I get like all the dishes done before I eat breakfast. And then... Yeah. 
Because I exercised for like an hour today. I mean, like, I went for like 30 minutes, took a break for 10 minutes, and then went back to exercising. So it was only like 45 minutes of like extensive, like, actual moving, but still. An hour out of my day. I'm able to exercise for longer now. It's nice. What do you- or when do you think someone will make an AI that creates 3D art? I mean, isn't that kind of like what 3D printers are? Like, I assume- because, like, people will make, like, software to, like, make certain models with your 3D printer. I'm sure there will become someone who creates an AI to make... Like, new original statues. I think that's possible, but I think that's still... I think, hmm, I don't think that's as negative of an impact on 2D. Because I think 2D art is so much more versatile than physical 3D statue work. Because um, one, there's not necessarily as big a market for 3D art. The only times you really see 3D art professionally in the workplace is if it's for like um, interior design, like decorating, or somebody who sculpts in like a creative sphere, so like an animator or a 3D modeler. Um, I think it's still, I think it would be more so used as a tool and not necessarily for like final composed pieces. So I, I mean, there's probably people developing that type of software now. My arm's starting to cramp up. I should drink water. I haven't drank water this whole time, huh? Shit. Oh, you mean like an actual game character? Not like 3D statues? Hmm. I mean, you know how they have those like base AIs to where they make you into like a cartoon character? It's probably something like that, but for 3D characters. I feel like that's already been made. That has to be made already. Okie dokie! <laughs> I bet if you look it up, probably- somebody's probably making software like that. Cause that- that seems like... I mean, I feel like that has to be made already. You know what would be an example of that? Like, you know, um... Dude, what's that space game where you go from planet to planet and name the creatures and... and discover a foliage? Fuck, what's it called? It came out a few years ago, and, like, the gimmick was that the AI made, like, thousands of, like, infinite planets to where you could discover the life on the island or the planet. Dude, I know what it is. Death Stranding? Is that what it is? Wait. No, that can't be it. No. I'm looking it up. No, that's, that's not the game. Dude, I know I have the game. Dude, what is it called? Oh, no. Well, anyway, there's a game that came out a few years ago that was marketed as there's an infinite number of planets to explore because every planet will be different. And like the AI basically made like different creatures and plants off of like the base models they had. I know what it's called. I know what it is. It's on the tip of my tongue. Rick. Anyway, so that, that basically already is a thing. There's a game that did that. I remember Jack Septic, I played it when it came out. I know what it is, but I can't remember what it is.
Yeah, this is the sword fight song. I think it sounds so cool and edgy. Hmm. It makes you feel tense. I love it. All you need to do is watch back the VOD, easy. Or just clip that part of stream and then you can listen to that song forever on repeat. <laughs> yeah, the mountain. <laughs> time threw me off. Same. Lemon lives in such a weird time zone, I hate it. Mountain time zone is cringe, not gonna lie. Out of that before getting on Twitch? What? Why are you blaming me for your fucked up time zone, huh? Not my fault. Well, see the shadow right here? That's my hair. Wow, it's huge. It's because I keep playing with my hair that I don't have it tied up. Some of the days where I don't stream, I like to like keep my hair down just to see like how the curls form throughout the day. And I keep playing with it. Like, I still run my hands through it, so it gets, like, really... poofy. I, I'm sure you guys can tell from my lovely face cam how poofy my hair is. Oh, I was talking to Mac. Okay, good. Yeah, shit on Mac as much as you want. I'll allow but you say one bad thing about me? No, no. Not allowed. You know, I think infighting is kind of fun. I love the drama. You know what else I love? I'm telling people to follow the stream. Because guys, we are five hours into stream. So it's time for me to tell you to follow the stream. It's hashtag free to follow. If you follow, um, your name shows up on stream. And you get to type in chat. Wowie wowses. Um, any of my current followers, can you tell everybody how cool it is to be a follower, huh? Can you tell everybody how cool it is? How cool and epic it is to be a peace in underscore art channel follower? Can we get some five-star reviews on Google Plus and Apple and iTunes? It's okay. Damn, I don't like Mac. Why is Mac so mean today? You know, Mac is always so mean. I give them so much attention throughout the stream. They're always so mean. I think Mac is actually a hate watcher. I'm not gonna lie.
You know, if a celebrity ever goes to a store or they get food and like the worker knows who they are, do you think the worker would give them a discount? Because, like, imagine, like, Fergie goes to McDonald's and the people manning the driver are like, Oh my god, it's Fergie. Would they give her a discount? Nah. Okay. Then, if I walk into whatever store you guys work at, would you give me a discount? If you say no, then that means you don't think I'm a celebrity. <laughs> Which I'm not, obviously. I work at a Dollar Tree. Damn. I guess Mac is a fake fan. Or Mac thinks I'm a celebrity. Do you guys give a veteran's discount? Like, what if I came in with my dad on Veterans Day and he wears navy cap? Would you give him a discount? When I worked at the pizza place, we weren't allowed to give veterans discount and I felt so bad. Because it's like, the most discount we could give was like a 10%. And like 10% of $20 is just two bucks. It's like you can't even give a guy who lost his fucking legs in Vietnam a $2 discount. Come on. And I feel bad because like the managers would bitch at you when they would look at the receipts and be like, hey, who got this discount? And you know, you don't want to get the managers mad, so you had to like say no to the old army guy. I mean, like, you could still give them the discount, but like I said, the manager would be like, Hey, I looked at your receipts, and why did this guy get a discount? He didn't have a coupon. If you give her a discount, it ruins the whole point of the store because that's a dollar store. I guess. But you know, when you buy a lot of things at the dollar store, it does add up, apparently. Like, buying 50 things at the dollar 50 store is like 75 bucks. Thank you. 
Are you done with the painting yet? I have probably 20 minutes left. So I don't know if we'll finish it within the 10 hour mark, but it'll be damn close. But guys, get ready to spam. I was here. Get ready. Oh, you know what I realized? You guys won't be able to see like the full POV of the painting, like the painting compared to my body. So you won't be able to get a scale for like how big or how small it is. Damn. You know, I was gonna try and start a second painting today, but no shot. No way. I just spilled. Oh no. Okay, caught it in time, we're good. Collectors no longer in shambles. You see, it's fine if I spill as long as I catch it right away. It's when I miss the specs that are fully dry after like a few minutes is when I, I can't fix it. Switching the mobile, okay. I mean, still get your copy passes ready because we probably got another 15 minutes left. 15. I mean, if I try hard, I could maybe get this done in 10, but I don't know.
go. Uh, my sister wanted to say hi and that the sub goal for her face reveal is 100,000 subs, guys. She said that's how much her face is worth. 100k. Subs. <laughs> Any Oilers? Okay, the outside lines have been done. Now I can fill in the black border and then we'll be finished. I can maybe get it done in nine minutes. Oh wait, I still have to catch up. Damn it. Forgot. Great, let's do the touch-ups first, that way they can dry. I forgot. No, that's not it. Oh, what yellow did I use? A oh, bright yellow. It's this one. Oh, dude, my knees. I'm old. My goal is 10.15. I think I can get this done in 10.15. Because remember, we still have to put a little bit of varnish on. So I fucked up. I think those were the only spots that needed touch-ups. Otherwise, pretty good job. Not too many spills, surprisingly. 
I mean, my goal was none, but I got three, which isn't too bad. Not too shabby. Yeah, sleep is pretty nice. I agree. I don't mind how time-consuming sleep is. Like, I honestly wish I was able to sleep more. Because, like, even if I go to bed early, I still wake up throughout the night. Sorry, there was, like, an orange speck. It was just dried up paint, not actual paint. Saved? Five head. I just scraped it off. You can tell I'm getting tired. My strokes are getting less precise. Can't afford to mess up now. Not when we're in the final stretch. I won't let anything stand in my way. Between me and finishing this painting. We've come so far. After ten... No, not ten long hours. Nine hours and fifty-seven minutes. We can't fail now. Sorry, I know the paint is tapping. Well, that's because I have to keep it elevated in order to paint the sides. I got nine hours and 22 minutes. <laughs> It's so precise. It's like I got nine hours, twenty two minutes, and thirty two seconds of sleep last night.
I'm getting so much paint splatters on my desk because when I'm going like this, I'm flicking paint off it. There's a train. I just noticed there's some speckles on the green as well. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I wasn't as careful as I could have been on this piece. I'm wasting the collector's time. How oh, shit, how could I? You know, to them, time is money. But also, to me, more time means more money. <laughs> Easy. Would you ever intentionally prolong a piece? No! No, I genuinely wouldn't. Um, <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Because, like, I like working quickly, but the thing about painting, and especially with any form of traditional art medium, it kind of forces you to, like, work carefully, because you don't have an undo button. As you can see, because I messed up several times, I have to go back and cover up and fix those mistakes. So no, I would never intentionally prolong a piece. If... You could even consider me streaming is prolonging a piece. Because... If I painted this offline, I could maybe get it done in 8 hours. Is it the right green? No. So, me painting on stream is a hindrance, actually. Collectors in shambles. Like, actually. When I paint on stream, it's almost like you're buying a memory. You're buying the experience of it being painted on stream. You're buying the conversations we had. No, I would never intentionally fuck up a painting. Unless that was like part of the gimmick, maybe. But otherwise, no. Okay. So now, we have the second black coat done. As you can see, it's fully opaque. Very nice. So, now I need to get my mask back on because I need to make more mica powder. So, just a reminder, if you're going to work with fine powders, please make sure you're wearing a facial coverage. You don't necessarily need a respirator, you just need a form of barrier. So, you can even just wear a simple 
cloth mask and really sing. Oh, okay, so I have to let that green sit for a little bit. Now there were only a few parts that I have to redo. There's one section here, here, um, here, and then there. So I just need like a tiny bit mixed. But I have to put the varnish. <coughs> okay, we're good. And then I use the green to gold. I'm gonna put like a drop in because we literally just need that much. The, only the teensiest bit of powder. And then I can just kind of like blend this because I only need like a teensy bit. fully cover up the mistakes I made but it's going to make it holographic so you can't really see the black underneath the color where's one right here so like if I were to make a print I could easily edit out the mistakes but since this is physical you kind of have to go back Okay, there we go, done. Now, I have to let it sit. Because since I pulled it on so slightly, instead of like brushing it on, I have to let it fully set. So I can't move this for probably like five minutes. But that means this painting is officially done. 10.07. Okay, let's clean our station a little bit. And then, like I said, we have to let it sit for a few minutes. Then we can get some close-ups. Yeah, chatters. I was here. I was here. Painting done. Woo. I'm tired. Perfect ending song? Yeah, it's pretty nice, huh? Dude, this looks crazy in person. I, dude, I say that every time, but it legitimately goes crazy. Wowie. Whew. Dude, the moment I stood up, I realized I have to pee, so let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, it always feels like a long journey, yeah. Especially doing stuff in one sitting. Dude, imagine I did this in one sitting. That'd be a long-ass stream, huh? Let's do it this angle so you don't see it. Wow. I love how the, the chevron pulls your eyes in. I think this is a very, like, the white parts in the center. It stands out a lot. Like, it should be fully set, but let's see. Dude, the white stands out so much when you look at it from, like, six feet away. I have a mirror across my room. But this looks nice. Also, the coverage for the varnish is pretty good. It is kind of streaky over here. See, see how like you can see that texture, the streaks. I just didn't brush as well as I could have. But right here, really nice even coverage. I really like this one. I wouldn't say that it's my favorite, but I still, I think this is like the best varnish coverage I've had like it looks really nice 
the technique of letting the paint fully dry after at least a day works very well. The only thing I don't like about matte paints is that they feel kind of rough. Like, touching the varnish is very smooth. Like, of course, touching it will damage it over time, but it's, like, very nice to touch. Like, compared to, like... You, okay, obviously, you should not fucking touch a painting, okay? But if you have this at home or whatever, you can definitely feel the texture. Like, this is very, like, rough. But this is, like, smooth. When are you opening an art museum? I don't know. Uh, any Oilers? I mean, like I said, um, I would love to open a shop by spring 2023, but that only depends on if I can have at least 10 buyers. Then I can afford to, like, get a P.O. box, get packaging. Because, like, the most expensive thing with, like, painting is, like, buying the packaging. Like, you have to buy very special, like, paper. You have to buy, like, little inserts so the painting doesn't move in the mail. Um, granted, this stuff is very- it, the thing I like about the canvases is I can- I can mail stuff in a very small box. Um, that was rich as fuck, I was funny. I mean, any oilers? Watch it. What we need- all we need is one oiler. We need one oiler, guys. We need one- I need to take the mask off, it's too hot. We just need one oiler. And then we'll be set for life. Anyway. I mean, even if one- the issue with, like, oilers- because, like, that's just one person funding. But, like, we need, like- Tens of hundreds of people to like what I do in order for it to be sustainable. So the best thing everybody can do is follow the offline socials, VOD watchers, lurkers, make sure you're following as well. I have a separate account on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Please make sure you're following at least the IG because you get higher quality pictures of uploads and progress pics. So yeah, go follow. Wait, I need to update IG actually. Um, once again, I would like to thank everybody who watched today's stream. We finally finished this painting after I stalled for so long. But yeah. You don't have feet in frame? Okay, once again, uh, thank you everybody who watched. I appreciate everybody who chatted, who looked. Thank you for keeping me company on another it's very successful art stream. Finals will be posted maybe later this week if I have time tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, feet pink. Dude, I'm at the extreme. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I gotta go full cam. I gotta go full cam. Wowie. Um, once again, thank you to everybody who watched. Um, if you're new here, uh, follow. Easy clap. Anyway, I'll see everybody tomorrow on the main channel we will be doing mario kart and number crossing like i said i will be moving in the upcoming weeks so schedule might be sporadic so i want to try to do as many painting streams as i can before i move so make sure you have notifications turned on smash that bell anyway i'll see you guys tomorrow on the main channel i might go live on this channel on friday we'll see okay bye Holy, I'm tired. Bye, Mac. Bye, Lemon. You guys are basically here the whole time. Honestly, you guys are real ones. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being active in chat as well. Genuinely, it's nice knowing that people like what I do and people want to hang out basically every day. So thank you. Also, Mac, thank you for that online gift to Lemon. You didn't have to do that, but thank you. Um... Let me enjoy the emotes, and you better write a long-ass thank you note to Mac. For real, for real. On God, on God.